Guess what's up? Back here, got some more Persona. Let's see. Oh yeah, I went to the store and got all these things. Because they were all free. It's a lot of free stuff. Get for my cardboard box. Um, uh, not sure what all this is. What is all this? Um, let's see. It. Yeah, I got this. <laughs> Doesn't really matter if I use this or not, because it's very minuscule. Uh, same with this. Kind of doesn't really matter. Um... Wow. <laughs> it's a lost. Alright, let's just go through. Alright. Uh, so last time I believe we finished with mementos. Uh, let me see. Do I have any more lockpicks? Do I need to make some? Why not? I just bought that. Two of them, actually. It's really good. I bought a bunch of random stuff for no reason. Uh, let's see, I only got two lockpicks. Let's see. Can't really do much. Pretty sure I finished the movie. Uh, yep, watched. And I finished the video game. Beat. <laughs> Uh, what about my thingy? Let's get some. Uh, so pretty much we're locked out. We're meeting Takemi, Iwai, and... I'm not sure if I'm missing anybody else, but I need to get my charm and go to level 4. Kindness, I'm pretty sure I had to level up uh, a couple too. Yes. So, let's, see. let's make some more lockpicks. I don't think I want anything else, right? I don't really use any of this stuff. Um, and honestly, I think it's because I, you know, play on very normal, very easy. So I don't really need anything else. I do need my proficiency to level up again. So apparently, uh, can dodge chalk at level three. Evil stain. Lots of stain. Yeah, it seems to be a theme here. Yeah, why didn't they help? Because they were afraid. Yep, too scared. Yuki yeah, we're gonna rank up with the magician here. Yeah, I mean, it may not be human. Just be confident. <laughs> well, you're the one. <laughs> I'm being hesitant here. Yep. Lock up. We're at five. Five. Chance to obtain an item when Joker performs a melee attack. Ooh. Yes. I have been doing a kind of a quick, quick slash casual, very casual playthrough of the original Persona 5 off stream. Um, I'm about halfway through Kaneshiro's Palace, and yeah, there are very minute changes that I've noticed. So it's really cool to kind of play it side by side almost. Uh, even some of the demons or personas have different uh, weaknesses, which is interesting too. 
今度は醜き暴食の塔を下したか。Yep, God, she was dead or not dead, but finished. 囚人ごときにはもったいのないお言葉大切にしなさい。I meant to fight Kanashiro at level around normal, but I had、uh, turned it to easy mode、uh, when I was traveling through mementos and I forgot to put it back to normal. But it's okay.、Uh, do you recall the whispers about that strange man? The other metaverse user? Even a chicken could remember something that important. So I'm thinking it's、uh, a catchy because that's how it was in the first game, but at the same time, in the first game, mental breakdowns happened, but so far, no one's had a mental breakdown yet. I wonder if this might be the first mental breakdown. Alright, well, we got more personas. Increasing the XP. Bonus granted by Arcana Burst. Nice. So that pretty much levels everybody up, theoretically. Return to your world. Uh, it's a Wednesday. Uh, I'm still asleep. I'm gonna joke around. <laughs> oh, nice. Hey, already? That's fast. Mafia Nante, you are the Tarinchuda. She, Ariel Nukona. Kaisi, Seko Stanokana. What an antum Yenina. Soka Kaneshro Gaiteta, Sushin Bosot Wakaran Demo News the Sakani Teru, Sushin Boso Jikan to Kanokota Rona. It's interesting because this happened like right away instead of the usual, you had to wait till the deadline. That's kind of interesting. Oh, I guess that's him. I have a feeling something's gonna happen to him this time. Because in our previous peoples,、uh, didn't have the mental shutdown, so I have a feeling he might have one. We'll see though. I thought it was going to be late. Customers were bickering in the convenience store this morning. A young woman wearing all brand clothing and an older man was with gold accessories were arguing. Both were on their high horse, and even though they dressed fancily, it felt. Novu Rich? It's Novu Rich. Speaking of the Japanese words for high horse and Novu Rich,、um, both originated as shogi terms. A lot of people aren't familiar with shogi, but it's good to know a little bit,、uh, bit about it. So, Dreamkun, have you seen this piece before? What do you think it says on the back of this piece? No idea. <laughs> no idea. What do you think it says on the back of this piece? Google knows. What day is today? I have no idea. It says gold and gold. That's right. The Lance and the Silver General also have the kanji for gold on the back. By the way, it said that the two on the back of the pawn piece is a cursive form of gold. Or what? In Shogi, you can choose to promote your pieces under certain conditions. If a knight crosses into enemy territory, for instance, they can promote. Becoming, an, becoming as mobile as a gold general. 
a weak piece like a pawn can become gold if you get it into the enemy's camp, hence Nobu Rich. Wow, really? Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> like, I've dived into Shogi a little bit, but yeah, <laughs> it's. I don't really like try to learn it that much. By the way, Nova Rich like to wear expensive clothes because of a desire to be acknowledged. Reminds me of those guys in uh, Yakuza. Nova Rich guys. <laughs> Just beat them up for a bunch of money. Once humans fulfill the basic needs of clothing, food, and shelter, our next desire is recognition. That's why people will try to make themselves seem bigger by flaunting their power through money. Making yourself seem bigger. Reminds me of a frilled lizard. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna hang out today. I think you may know this already, but I've been ordered by Principal Potato Head <laughs> to look for the culprits. Is he on to us? Uh, we seem to be fine for now, but we can't let our guard down. I ask that you try not to stand out for a while. By the way, I usually spend my time in the student council room. If there's ever an emergency, feel free to come find me there. So I think I can create my social link with her. She should be the Empress. Greetings, Senpai. It's her. I was just thinking of inviting you out. Do you have time right now? Which maybe you could meet. Maybe we could meet up in Kichijoshi. I'm gonna say yes. What you up to? Everyone else wants to hang out, but I think I just want to hang out with Kasumi. Uh, just having to wait doesn't jive with me. I'm still hanging out in the hallway. Alright, plans for today. I'm wandering around Shibuya. I'm feeling kind of restless. I'm st I'll still be at the station for a bit, so let me know if something comes up. Or even this guy wants to hang out too. What are your plans? Simply waiting isn't very fun. People watching hasn't fared too well either. I'll be at the station. Alright. Uh, make sure I have my... Uh, Faith? Faith Persona? Where's my Faith Persona? Faith! I had to go out and pull it out. Make sure that's what she got. Yep, Faith. Where's my Faith Persona? Uh, let's go sell stuff. I need to equip all that to Ian. Oh, do I want agility? Defense might be better. Oh, probably agility is better. What? Oh. Well. Also, I think I wanted to keep this luck plus five. Uh, not having it, or having this is pretty nice, but at the same time, though. Uh, Nullifies warrior's weaknesses and it gives me that move. Or that was adhesive. Uh, I think the other adhesive valve. Give to each person if I need them to regenerate XP or something. Alright, give me that faith person. Oh, not great. Pull out. Oh, here's all those DLC uh, personas. I'm just gonna look at them. Oh, just wanna look at them. Yeah, they're pretty buff. Well, they're not even that buff. They probably just have nice moves. What's that? A Denza. Oh, jeez. So good. <laughs> That's what they DLC. My chance of inflicting sleep to all. Really decrease accuracy for one foe. Ollie dance. 
Is that an auto? It's wild. Wow. Angelic Grace increases evasion from all magical attacks except Almighty. What? <laughs> Fully restores HP, SP after battle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that's why it's low 80. Still. It's wild. What was this? Severe almighty damage. <laughs> That's the heal. Decreases recovery time from ailments to one turn. Anyway. Uh... Oh, a level. Phoenix. Uh, yeah, I'll probably try not to use any of the DLC personas. Alright, let's go ahead and hang out with Kasmi. Go at once. Thank you so much. I'll be waiting. Nice go. See here. Hello, it's gotten so hot lately, hasn't it? But I've got a meet, er, a meet coming up, so I can't lose steam now. Do you want to do some training? We'll just do some stretches to start. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Then it's decided. You know what they say, strike while the iron's hot. I usually train at, you know, Kashira Park. That seems like a good spot as any for today. Well, I'll go and work, walk around, blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right. Round two. Not bad, Dream Senpai. You're pretty flexible, and you catch on fast. At this rate, you'll have the fond muscles down in a heartbeat. My body's aching just from mimicking Sumi's poses. It's all about harmony between the internal and external oblique muscles. I can't get enough of it. We're just getting started. Well, feisty, are we? I'm glad to hear it. Expert level gymnastics are beautiful, but they demand a lot of stretching. All right, let's continue. I stretch with Kasumi. I think that's enough stretching for now. Good effort, senpai. And, um, I'd like to continue with our training, but I'm not exactly, or I'm actually not doing so great at the moment, so I'm not sure I can manage anything too strenuous. Uh, next time then. <laughs> Thank you for understanding. Do you remember how I said I wanted to talk to you about something? I've been feeling like I'm stuck in this slump. No matter how much I practice, I just can't uh, get any better. I went to my coach about it, but uh, she told me to take some time off from gymnastics. According to her, I need to think about who I really am. Oh, what? The idea is not to stop doing gymnastics, just uh, she wants me to take a break. I see. I never had an issue that practice couldn't solve, but now I have no idea what to do. So, um, I want you to help me, Dream Senpai. Even if we're not doing gymnastics, will you still keep going out with me? I want to joke with her because we are trying to re romance her. Yeah. Oh no, nothing like that. Uh, I've heard my coach praising me. She says, Kasumi's greatest weapon has always been her boldness. And honestly, that used to be true. I was totally fearless, confident that gymnastics was a fun challenge. But ever since I started high school, I've been in a slump. I got taller for one, and there were some other complications. I can't move as I want anymore. Like, it's not even my own body. I have kind of felt like I kind of fell into a depression. It got pretty bad. But when you helped me in Shibuya, something occurred to me. When I saw how fearless you are, how confident you are, I knew you were the right one for the job. If I stick with you, Senpai, I think I can learn how to be confident again. Follow my lead. <laughs> uh, great, I'll try to. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're a strange one, senpai. I didn't, didn't think you'd accept. Well, I'll try and return the favor through our deal. 
I sense Kasumi's appreciation. Uh, allows you to avoid being surrounded. Ooh. By enemies and palaces. Is that like... Permanent? So I can never get ambushed ever. After lessons with Kasumi, James uh, can now use tumbling. If a shadow attacks you uh, head on in a palace, you'll be able to avoid being surrounded by enemies and turn the situation into a normal encounter or an ambush. Hmm. Let's see how that goes. Oh, uh, excuse me. I should be going. I have to I have a meeting with my coach. I need to get going for the day, but I'll make sure you don't regret this. Thanks. Thanks to Kasumi's training, I feel like my stamina increase. Oh yeah. So who needs to work out when we just hang out with Kasumi? Uh, Kasumi rushed off into the distance. I feel like hanging with Ryuji should also do the same thing. Um, give us, you know, HP. Especially if we actually train and not just talk. <laughs> I should gather up my belongings and head home. Thank you very much for joining me today, Dream Senpai. Are you feeling sore after all that? You place stress on muscles that you don't use very often. Make, uh, please remember to massage them out before you sleep. But I'm so glad you accepted my request. I was so relieved. I suddenly got really hungry and that my stomach wouldn't stop growling in my meeting. <laughs> it was impressive. <laughs> Thank you very much, though I don't know that's really worth any praise. <laughs> An excessive diet tends to make most people feel sick, but it seems to have an opposite effect on me. But since you're helping me out, I'll do whatever it takes to maintain my shape. I hope you can help me next time, uh, Senpai. I'll be reaching out again. Well then, I'll talk to you soon. I trust you haven't forgotten our about your special assignment. We'll be waiting in front of the door. We expect you to accept this task with enthusiasm. Yeah, I feel like it's not really worth hanging out with them outside the thing. Unless there's like totally nothing to do then maybe, but... So I think all they give you is skill cards and items. Um, no social links. You know, I've been curious. Uh, what's Kosei like? Is it filled with guys like Yusuke? I imagine there are a lot of different people there. Now that you mentioned it, I have one very interesting classmate. She's a female shogi player, ooh, and a seemingly quite the skilled one at that. Are you talking about Hifumi? Hifumi? Togo? I remember hearing she's a student at Kosei. They say she's the most beautiful shogi player around uh, right now. Dude, that sounds too good to be true. Give me some more info. I do not know much about her. She is not the kind of person to let others Close to her. It sounds like she only focuses on her shogi pursuits. After all, it says she is a lone genius. However, I have heard she is commonly seen at the church over in Kanda. For real? We gotta go. You'll probably get struck down by a bolt lightning if you're going to or going for that ulterior motive. That ain't it. This is for the Phantom Thieves. I mean, Shogi's a kind of battle, right? She's gotta know all sorts of insane strategies and stuff. Uh, that is quite a stretch, or the stretch. Churches are supposed to be holy. Don't do this, Ryuji. Ah, your guys are gonna pay for this one day. <laughs> James, you go spy on her for me. Find out if she's really as cute as they say she is. <laughs> ah, let's ignore that idiot. Anyways, shogi expert, huh? Yeah, I definitely want to level her up. I have so many social links right now. I don't know if I can pick up another one. But we'll see. Our historical district contains many famous shrines and churches. Reflect on your past, confess your regrets, and the path forward may come become clear. Who we got? Oh, I do all kinds of chores. Yeah, she's alone right now, but I don't have enough. Actually, I think I do have enough charm now to meet with him. That's who I was. I was blocked from seeing him. I'm a Kichijoji right now. I find myself with a bit of time on my hands. If you feel so inclined, perhaps we could meet here and we could chat for a while. 
I don't have my justice persona, so I'm gonna wait for that. I do all kinds of chores. I, I can do all kinds of housework, you know? If you have the time, request me by phone. Okay, I'm still at work. I'll talk to you later. And Kawakami's working today. Use the yellow phone if you want to call her. I'll decide later. Uh, do I even have temperance? I don't have temperance. I guess I will pull out temperance. I might have to. I'll well, definitely have to fuse or just toss a persona away. I'm gonna try to fuse first. That's. It's <laughs> a better thing to do. I might even be able to fuse a temperance persona. Temperance. Snow temperance is. is, is... I guess we're just pulling out. I do need to fuse, so let's go to fuse. Yeah, I think we're locked from meeting with Takemi for a little bit. Same with the uh, him. Wait, Devil is the uh, reporter, actually. Uh, let me see. Where are you? I'm talking to you. Fuse this guy away and set temperance. Wait, I can't get a temperance from any of these fusions. Um, yeah, I can only do level thirty. Mm, that might be a good combo. I don't need hair font right now. I actually also don't need magician at all. Period. I'm not level thirty-one. I also don't need strength. Oh! Uh, so this guy came about because of the DLC. So... Let's go ahead and make him. Before I'm like, I'm not gonna pull these out of the compendium, because that's cheap. But if I just fuse one... It'd be that cheap. Um, I'm trying to think, is that Orpheus from Persona 4? I don't remember. Before I commit, let me double check. Mm, yep, I think we're going for it. Circle of Sadness. This is a Persona born within one who held a fate outside that of your tale of rebellion. Oh yeah, <laughs> so this is from, uh, obviously the DLC. But if we didn't know that, this dialogue right here tells us that. However, that persona still bears the power of its original owner. It shall be of great help to you. Very great help. What's the circle of sadness? Revives with 1 HP when KO'd. Usable four times in battle. That is so cheap. I kind of want it. <laughs> Just because it's so cheap. So it gives you four chances. Like four Phoenix Downs. And to... Add insult to injury, it's the endure. So it took me five times. We can survive. Just do it for fun. Alright. Um I don't really care for these other things. Ooh, dodge electricity, hell yeah. Yeah. Perfect. That's some good shit. I am Orpheus uh, Picaro. You want me to be the mask of the trickster? Hmm? Okay, I guess I could help you clear your name. Alright. How many levels is that? I don't even know. Three levels? Whack. Ooh, that's gonna be good. That's pretty close, dude. It's 5k. I'm not sure what I'll get rid of. 
They're all so good. <laughs> so good. Uh, maybe get rid of Endure since... Circle of Sadness. It's pretty strong already. It's good though, dang. I think I just want to kind of get rid of for fun. Hanged. Uh, I can make regular Orpheus. Increases, it decreases attack. Yeah, it's pretty much the same things. So unfortunately, I am getting rid of my chariot. For another pool. Sort of Sagnus again? I think so. Yeah. Not sure what its stats gonna be. Hmm. So I guess attack or magic doesn't really matter. Or physical or magic, I mean. Uh, might as well do one of these. I'll do that. I don't want these two. Oh, there's so many good, good passives. Uh, we don't need that. I think these two. Yeah, that's fine. Orpheus. I'm Orpheus. You would like me to become your mask? Well then, let us search for the answers of life together. You get the experience, baby. Uh, honestly, I would get rid of and endure, but I'm starting to think that single targets kind of good, kind of better. Um, but I'll go ahead and switch this up. That's so good. What's this? Increase defense. All right, I have defense master. Can I put these two? Oh, I can. That's whack. Oh, this is from Persona 4. Uh, Orpheus is from Persona 3. I remember. Uh, Godmaker. Increases, increases chance of triggering allies' Persona traits. Oh, what? What does that mean? Armor kind of wants to just fuse to make this. Kind of defeats the whole purpose of all of it, but... It's kind of nice. Because second this like unlocks it. Actually, wait, 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 wait. I do all that. I gotta make sure I save it in the compendium. Oh, I don't have to. Let me look then. Nice. So it already uh, replaced it. Oh. I'm pretty sure I looked at that already, but it just looks so cool. I'm going to go ahead and fuse it. Sa. That's Principality. God maker. Hmm. Maggie dying. That was cross slash too. Whoa. So good. Dying, so I don't need that. Oh. So this. These two. 
って生まれた。<笑>なるほど。<笑> I'm Izanagi Picaro. Open thine eyes. Awaken, trickster. Behold the full confidants. Just powering this guy up. Is there a point to having Rising Slash? Because Cross Slash is like so good. I guess because it powers up with Baton Pass, but I mean, two times. Two times. High accuracy, too. No physical. Ooh. I'm gonna get rid of this. Nice. Uh, Stanley pull out a... Maybe a Justice. Not as much, though. Justice and Temperance. Counts. Yeah, a lot of my guys are pretty high level already. There's Temperance, but it's level 30-something. Alright, I'm just gonna pull it out. Nice picture. <laughs> uh, Barakana. World. World. Temperance. I guess. Still like that guy. He's not as good as my Izanagi, I think, but. It's all good. Mm. I do need a chariot in case I do hang out with Ryuji. Or maybe I won't really hang out with Ryuji. Maybe I'll fuse for one in the future. Athena. Whoa. Whoa. It's pretty much the sa same character, just better. <laughs> oh yeah, Akash Akashic Arts. So good. Alright, so yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, let's go back. Yeah, gotta go home. Try to call. Okay, we're Kawakami. Let's call the service. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for your call. I'm all your. Oh, it's just you. <laughs> you know, I've been hearing Shibuya is getting more dangerous lately. I'm sure you pass by the area on your commute to school, but don't make too many detours, okay? As long as you request me, I'll do your housework for just 5,000 yen. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I'm going to go do this. Anything else to do today? Uh, technically we can go to the Shogi girl. That's fine. All are over. I need it to get to a point where she can do my laundry. Yay. Yay. So next time I call her, she will be good to go. Let's see. It's so hot and humid. I wish the rainy season would end soon. By the way, June's almost over. Oh, it is. We defeated Kaneshiro, so we can rest easy for a while, I guess. So, what do you want to do today? Maybe something like a trip to Mementos? Uh, I want to rest. I mean, breaks are important, but we have those requests on the message board, so don't forget to answer them. I don't even know if they're ready to be... Whatever, whatever. Oh, rainy. 
Well, saying, My new piece. This is about my new piece, Desire. It was selected for the public exhibition. Exhibition. It's already on display there now. If it's alright to you, could we go see it together? Uh, I think this is a yes. Because nobody else wants to hang. Meaning I didn't get any other DMs. Uh, sure. Thank you. This will actually be my first time going as well. I will send you the location of the art museum. Uh, let us meet up and head there together. I just realized Makoto is not the Empress. It's somebody else, but... I don't remember who is the Empress. Or, uh, my Empress, but... Two of my uh, A district packed with cultural sites like museums, temples, and a zoo. Okay, culture and art. Many famous paintings and sculptures can be seen at Ueno's art museums. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. In addition to the aspect of this show, there is also a valuation portion. Hmm, I believe my piece truly stands out among the sea of art here, and yet nobody has come to see it. Perhaps they are so afraid of the truth held within that they dare not take a closer look. What is this supposed to be? There's a dark, almost sinister aura, aura emanating from it. Hmm, the title is Desire? I see no desire here. Ah, uh, I understand now. This area is for students. The artist likely decided to paint his er, this on a whim. Indeed, there is neither elegance nor motion in this piece. Oh, what? Come, oh, dear. There is much more detailed paintings over here, or over there. Dang. That's rough. There is no need to worry. I am not bothered in the slightest. That was nothing more than dr the drivel of unrefined commoners. I needn't pay any mind to them. As long as those who are in the know understand my work, I will be happy. Oh, somebody else. This is... Hmm. Look, a knowledgeable per uh, patron has arrived. Hmm. I would like your opinion, sir. What are your thoughts on this piece? I can see quite clearly why it was accepted into the exhibition. The technique is excellent. However, the composition as a whole is mediocre at best. A what? Oh, there you Ah, are you the air artist? The title is listed as Desire, but that idea is quite overused. Some may even call it stale. If you want to paint an abstract work such or with such an old theme, you must inject some individual individuality into it. What? Take another look. Try to remove yourself from the artist's bias. These paint strokes or these brush brush strokes are splendid given your age, but does this painting really tell you anything? It is empty, devoid of meaning. I suggest you take a more critical eye to your work in the future if you truly want to progress as an artist. Eh. Because deep, my work is empty. What a dick. Uh don't let him bother you. Indeed. But why? I put my heart and soul into this piece, captured the very essence of desire. It was supposed to lay bare the re reality of the world. Perhaps, perhaps he was right. It may be empty after all. These colors, these brush strokes, they do not convey the true meaning of desire. Only my conception of it. I haven't captured desire. Desire has captured me. No. <laughs> no. How could I have fooled myself into believing otherwise? <laughs> it is as though I have been forsaken by the gods of art. This grave mistake shall be the end for me. <laughs> uh, I'll be neutral. This is just the beginning, or I guess positive. Do not patronize me. I have no feature in this field. <laughs> what is going to happen to me now? Without art, what will remain of my being? This is unlike you. James! You are correct. Surrendering myself to fate after only one failure would be very much unlike me. <laughs> He's so dramatic. Still, being criticized by someone with such a keen eye is truly painful. But that is all the more reason I must break out of my slump. 
I must prove my ability to him. Uh, how exactly? I will buy. I will start by painting. After that, I will paint. Beyond which, I shall paint even more. That is the only way I will learn to capture the essence of emotion. After all, you can only accomplish so much in using logic to analyze the contents of the heart. I hope you allow me to continue my skill card services as well, James. I shall conquer this. Yosh. <laughs> Chance to perform a follow-up attack if Joker's attack does not down the enemy. Nice. Now then, let's go home. I wish to start anew. A slap, huh? <laughs> A what? Okay. Why are we raining? James, I apologize for causing a scene earlier. That one gentleman's critique made me fully realize what I've been lacking. But now my path is clear. I will simply keep on drawing. I'm going to have ten pieces finished up by end of today. Oh, Jesus. That's the spirit. Ha. If anything, I should be doing more. I'll do anything to escape this slump. With your support, I was able to pick myself up rather quickly today. I hope that doesn't discourage you from joining me again. I will get past this. Sorry for taking up so much of your time. We'll meet again soon. Oh, yeah. Fortune teller. Crossword. Let's see what crossword we're on. Exchange all over the world. Currency. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sweet. Oh, what's this other stuff? Money holder. Money holder. I'm not quite sure I'm gonna dispense this cash, ATM. I feel like doing all these just for fun, just because I already found out the main one. How about this money holder? Replace the franc. Uh oh, it's a euro. Yo. So what's this last one? Money holder. Wallet. It's a wallet. Anyways. Nice. I'm good at that. <laughs> I'm bad at, like, the other stuff. Originating from the Latin word currentia, flowing. This term applies specifically to money, no matter the medium, though it does not include checks or credit. Throughout history, currency has applied to a wide variety of items. Rocks, shells, grain, livestock, feathers, salt, dried fish, wood, bamboo, and even whale teeth. <laughs> oh wow, I can't figure that one out. Okay, in the original, um, so the crossword book does appear, but you actually cannot do crossword puzzles. So it's pretty cool. They added that. Uh, again, I was told I can't get any higher with Sojiro until like, August. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, it says restricted until after August 22nd. So that's a long time from now. So this is not going down. Uh, it's not raining anymore. Dang it. Maybe we should go for the whoops, fortune place. Fortune 500. Oh, Mishima. What are you doing out here? Let's see Fumi. Kichijoji. Uh, maybe I should hang out with Mishima. Do I have the moon persona? I don't. Let's go get one. Hi. 
Kind of wish the Arcanas were sorted alphabetically. I think I got some black ooze. Kaguya. Oh. Oh. Wild. Anyways, yeah, let's bring out some black ooze. Oops. It sucks I can't leave unless I choose a dialogue option to leave. Alright. Uh. I guess I could technically also get, um. Yeah, the other two, but I think I'm just here for... Mishima. Mishima, why are you out here? Oh. Oh, there's no quick travel to the... thingy. I was hoping there was, so that's why I interacted with it. Uh, let me look at. So far away, the fortune teller is actually. Oh, right there. Never mind. All right, I'll do that one later. Okay, next time. Tell me it's just an interview. I look like an idiot getting dressed up for that. And that uh, Oyasan, she's the devil incarnate. It was horrible. Uh, what happened? She was pretty, but super scary, too. I got blasted with endless questions. I got hit on by a drag queen. And after all that, I got yelled at. That's where did I go wrong, seriously. Uh, but anyways, I did my best to promote the Phantom Thieves. Remember that one where uh, you're reading at, uh, reading a glowing article about you guys? Wait. Remember that? Or remember that when you're reading a glowing article about you guys, okay? Uh, so you did the request I asked you to do. Thanks. Hey, so I figured out another way I can help as your strategic image management representative. It's a great deal for you, of course. Are you free today? Uh, so it looks like it doesn't matter if I have a moon persona or not. So they didn't say anything about that. So that's good to know. Let's double check it. Yeah, see? So I do have a moon persona, but he did not care. <laughs> so I'm assuming uh, his rank goes up as long as I just do the mementos requests and whatnot. Mm, today's my treat. Nice. Look at that. Fancy buffet. Uh, Phantom Thieves are all about fancy stuff like this, right? That's uh, why we're here. Oh, and it's just the two of us, uh, so don't be afraid to go all out. What do you want to eat? Uh, yeah, I don't think it matters. Uh, steak sounds good. That meat. Doesn't it? Meat's perfect for tough guys like us. By the way, this place is all you can eat, so let's make sure we get our money's worth. Meat. Anyway, I posted on the fan site that I had connections to you guys. The phantom, uh, the fandom really ate that up. <laughs> Don't worry though, I didn't say anything that would point to my real identity. I did end up talking about how expensive it is to run our little organization though. The donations I got after that were pretty uh, generous to say the least. But I guess our loving supporters just wanted to show some support. Not bad for a strategic management, huh? Uh, you're amazing. He knows the scam. <laughs> eh, it was a piece of cake for someone as skilled as me. Let's take advantage of this uh, windfall as much as we can. Oh, and it's okay to consider this meal an organizational expense, right? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, wait a minute. I've seen on the news that using donations for stuff other than what's publicized is a serious crime. 
Uh, food is definitely an acceptable business expense, but can the same be said of an expensive buffet? The more I think about this whole thing, the less I think we should use the donations here. I mean, people get mad at a politician for using tax money for personal affairs. The same probably applies to the Phantom Thieves. I guess returning the money would be the best choice. Uh, you're right. Yeah, uh, we really need to make sure we keep the image of the Phantom Thieves clean in our fans' minds. I think I'll return the money and thank the fandom for their generosity. They'll love that. It might be a waste of some nice resources, but it's all good as long as it boosts our popularity, right? Man, maybe I was born to do this strategy stuff. I'm honestly getting pretty good at it. Don't worry, I'm still gathering info on the forum too. I actually have a few solid leads right now. Everything so far has been close to home. But these next ones are gonna blow your socks off. Mishima seems particularly enthusiastic today. Uh, we only rank 4 though, so we don't have the next nice buff. Hopefully we can level up pretty soon. So if we're returning the money, uh, how are we going to cover our meal? I'm flat broke. <laughs> I guess let's just go home. Unfortunate. No fancy buffet. Oh, Dream. Uh, sorry for dragging you out for no reason again. A uh, strategic image management rep for the Phantom Thieves, I wanted to splurge a little to boost morale, but I guess it ended up being pretty good for our PR in the end, right? Yup. <laughs> yup. Yeah, right. Uh, it, or, yeah, right? It was kind of rough avoiding the employees' glares on the way out, but we gotta stay, uh, stay positive. Uh, there's still so much I have to do for you guys. I'll work even harder. I want to be a real asset to the Phantom Thieves. Okay, goodbye. Right. It is now July. I think there might be a question. Glass. Yep, there it is. Ooh, we get to read a book. Let's see what we're reading. Uh, maybe I should read these single things or I should see I don't want to read this craft of cinema let's do it uh, films will seem more enjoyable once you understand mise-en-scene mise-en-scene sin oh uh, miss what is this a French term or something Yes, it is. So, you finished reading The Craft of Cinema, mise en scene, or scene. I thought film uh, was all about story. Or I thought film was all about story, but I guess every visual detail on the screen means something. Uh, this triggered a whole new perspective for me. I'm ready to watch all kinds of movies and DVDs now. Also, oh, I get three uh, notes per viewing. Ooh, that's gonna be good. I kinda wish I. Yeah, I kind of wish I had got this earlier, but oh well. Oh, we're almost at the station. I'd say that was an efficient use of your time. Heck yeah. That definitely builds this for the future. I skipped breakfast, so now I'm hungry. I wanted something filling, but uh, with summer coming up, I'm worried about having too many calories. Why don't we uh, get tea? The diner or the diner in Shibuya serves fruity. It sounds good or it smells good. It's great for your skin and it totally increases your charm. Fruity, what a cute name. Sounds yummy. And being a stylish starts from the inside out. After all, I guess I'll try some. Fruity, huh? Sounds like a hit drink. That's real popular with ladies. You want to try some? Sounds delicious. It's like boba tea. <laughs> The rule against dudes drinking it. If it tastes good and makes you more stylish, might as well, right? Might be a good idea to boost your charm by drinking fruit tea whenever you're at the diner. Uh, good morning, James Kun. What are you looking at? Uh, let's get going. We're going to be late if we don't hurry. Good idea, Makoto. Don't 
do do do. Open your textbooks. Today we'll be talking about the Three Kingdoms period. A variety of heroes battling for dominance truly in epic time. Charismatic rulers and warlords with a command of a thousand men may have their own appeal. But personally, I think that the strategists who supported them can't be ignored. Uh, now then, Dreamkun. What? In the book, Zhuge Liang, uh, Shu is famous for his exploits during the Battle of Red Cliffs, said Chibi. He's also the inventor of the Baozi, a kind of round dumpling, but their appearance, or their original name was based on their appearance. What's the meaning of the original Chinese phrase that these dumplings name came from? Barbarian said. Jeez. Oh, that is correct. Its original name, Manto, uh, came from a phrase meaning a barbarian's head. At the time, one region's barbarians would use a person's head as an offering to soothe the deity of a flowing river or flooding river. But Zhu Ge Liang made a Baozi in the shape of a head as a substitute. It's a pretty big meat bun. getting there. Doo -doo. These days you can find Baozi with cute faces on them. If you think about their origins, it's not too off the mark. I never knew strategists came up with cooking, not just and not just strategies. Makoto's our strategist. Want to see what she can cook up? That'd be interesting to find out. Dun, 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 dun. This isn't actually a request from the fan site, but a personal one. The truth is, a younger student came to consult me about something the other day. It sounds like he's getting blackmailed out of his job uh, by the store manager. The manager? Yeah. From what he told me, money went missing from the register he was supposed to be in charge of. As such, he's been falsely accused of stealing money from the store. And now the manager's making him pay back the full amount. It's 50k. 50k. Yeah, this guy's like the most honest person I know. There's no way he'd steal all that money. And well, I did some research into the store online. According to some rumors, the manager might be the one stealing the money. Ooh. He's the only person who checks the registers after all. On top of that, some other staff member saw him taking cash out uh, when he was calculating totals. Anyway, uh, the guy's name seems to be Nozomi Odo. I found it out when I looked into the store. Please, you gotta help the student. Nice. Oh, nobody wants to hang out, huh? Well, I could make a social link with uh, Makoto as well. And as one rank up. Uh, let's make a thingy with uh, Makoto. Actually, one second. And doesn't want to rank up quite yet. Yeah. Right, Makoto it is. Is there a shortcut to the student council room? Oh yeah, there is. What's up, Makoto? That said, all we can do now is wait until Kanashiro's change of heart comes clear to us. Do you need something on the third floor? Have you come to study in the library, perhaps? Uh, I can't even see you, actually. Seems your studies have paid off. Have you been working hard? Yay, it seems I have enough knowledge to invite Makoto out. This may be a good opportunity to deepen my bond with her. There's something I want to ask you. If it doesn't get in the way of your studies, that is. I can lend it here. Thank you. Uh, now then, let's uh, find somewhere better to talk. The courtyard should do. I should probably take my vitamins. Sure. これまで何の問題もない同性としてやってきた。生徒会長としての職責を問題なくこなしてきたつもりよ。嫌味とかじゃないの。私がそう思い込んでいただけだから。でも、鈴井さんや金城のこと結局私一人じゃ何もできなか
Right in my horizons. Uh, what do you plan on doing? I don't think it matters this first visit. Priestess. I didn't realize she would be a priestess. Um, there seems to be a disparity between my tastes and those of my peers. Mm, meh. It's whatever. みんなが普段どういうところで遊んでるとかよくわからないし、そういうのちゃんと把握しておきたいの。それに生徒の実態把握は生徒会長の務めでしょ。監視とかそういうのじゃなくてみんなのことをちゃんと理解したいの。それに
Uh, allows you to see skills and potential item drops on the analysis screen. Shadow calculus, hell yeah. Oh yeah, we did. ああ、行ってみたいっていうか。実はそういうところでうちの生徒を見たっていう情報が。まさかとは思うけど、一度確認しておきたいの。もういい時間ね。そろそろ帰ろっか。No problem, thanks for setting aside some time for me today. Uh, it's always hard for me to come to places like this on my own, so you've been a big help. I've had all kinds of new experiences today, and it's even uh, been a little fun. Let's go again sometime. The red light district next! <laughs> Felt a lot better with you helping me with this. Um, helping me through this. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to keep you. Here, on your way home. I'll call you later. See ya. Friday, I forgot to get bread at school. Or to use case info, there's a famous shogi player in Kanda, right? If we have time, why don't we go meet them? Do I really want to, though? Shake. I shake with desire. It's Becky, the maid who shakes with desire to see her master. I'll come for you again today, starting at only 5,000 yen. <laughs> I'm sure you know, but I didn't get requested tonight. It would be great if you could request me. Yep, just go ahead and do that. I need her to do my laundry. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of money pretty soon. Yeah, you're the best master. I'll be there soon, so wait for me. So, Master, I want to provide more services for you. A what? That'd be great. What are you scheming? <laughs> That'd be great. I'm really good at giving massages. Meow, I'll massage you anywhere you like. Well, how was that? <laughs> A what? The thing is, I talked to my boss about picking up more shifts, but he said that he prioritizes younger women. How rude. Especially when she's not even that old. <laughs> or whatever. Seriously, he didn't have to say that right to my face. I mean, age has nothing to do with cleaning a room. And I look damn good for my age, if I do say so myself. The girls in my neighborhood always tell me I'm pretty. And the latch... Lackey? Latchkey? Latchkey kid who lives next door always asks me to tie up her hair. Uh, thanks to that, I'm an expert with these pigtails, see? Uh, so I'm damn good for. Wait, don't tell me I'm the only one who thinks this way. Oh no. Master, would you please give me your honest op opinion? I look pretty good as a maid, don't I? You need to love yourself. Yeah. Huh? That's also true though. Sometimes you shouldn't always be looking for outward validation. I don't really feel like I'm worth being loved, but you're right. You go out of your way to request me, and all I do is sit here and vent to you. What the heck am I saying? You're my student. My double life as a teacher and a maid is so exhausting. Uh, maybe I let my guard down because you know both sides of me. The more I come here, the more I feel like I can relax. As a maid, I'm supposed to help my master relax, but instead, I'm the one who's being helped. Sorry, I'm such a terrible maid. I feel Kawakami's kindness. Mm. Yes. Not high enough level yet to do my laundry. Or give me massages, actually. I have to confess something. I lied about the reason why I need to make more money. I don't have a sick sister. All that stuff about the fees and charges was a lie too. Mm, why did you lie to me? I thought we had something special. <laughs> I'm just I can't get requested unless I make up these types of stories. See? Uh, you understand now, right? Nothing good will come from involving yourself with a ter terrible person like me. It's a good lesson learned. 
Nah, let's just put an end to this. Thank you for your use. Uh, thank you for using our service. She's not even gonna call me afterwards. Mm. But I'm gonna keep uh, requesting her anyways. <laughs> so look who it is. It's the teacher. All right, everyone, quiet down. I'm changing my lesson for today. Instead of a regular class, we'll be reviewing last week's materials. I suggest you listen uh, carefully, but don't think you can slack off, okay? Absolutely won't allow it. No slacking off. Weird, uh, <laughs> that sound. She's going totally against the curriculum. All that stuff about slacking off was a bit odd, too. Wait a second. Is this what she meant by dish class? I would have thought she'd let you uh, leave the room or something, but I guess you can't really complain. Uh, slacking off in Kawakami's class. And with Kawakami's help, you will be able to slack off in class on certain days. Use this time to do various things such as reading or crafting infiltration tools. However, you will gain knowledge by choosing study instead. Please keep this trade-off in mind. I'm definitely going to be reading. Kawakami's been kind enough to give us this free time, so we better put it to good use. So what's the plan? I was thinking of something else. Sleep. Let's do lecture. I'm going to read, baby. Wait, I don't want to read. Can I go back? Is there study? I guess listening to a lecture counts as studying? I don't know. I'm just going to read these books, though. Uh, let's finish off this book. Uh, gaze upon your clutter with that de heart detached from desire. The answer will uh, then come to you. Is this book really about cleaning? Or is it training you to become a monk? <laughs> hmm. So you finished reading the Tidying the Heart. Learning as a way to speak to your heart. I uh, never thought of it like, uh, that way. Reading this book must have taught you how to contemplate and think more efficiently, huh? Hmm. Oh yeah. How's my proficiency? Hey, Mandeth, what's up? Good evening. How are you today? How the rest of your day go? I know you had a, a lot of not seeing clients today. <laughs> In bed watching wants to say hello. Well, hello. It is close to bedtime. We should thank Kawakami for this later. With some cash. Did anyone else can't complain yet? Yeah, I had a very chill day myself. I didn't do shit. <laughs> like, I didn't do anything productive other than gaming. <laughs> um... I guess I did a little bit of exercising. I did some leg workouts. Yeah, to get my body back into shape so that uh, maybe I might go play next week sometime. Um, I still haven't had my full ankle mobility return to me yet, so I'm just working that. Trying to, you know, at least be able to squat. I think once I can crouch <laughs> without it really hurting or anything, then I think I am somewhat ready. <laughs> to get back in there, but so then I'm gonna keep, yeah, just moving around and strengthening it. Uh, you know, especially since I have not been playing, I'm pretty sure my leg uh, strength has diminished greatly. So I used to play like four days a week, maybe more, but now I'm just sitting on my behind. <laughs> um, yeah, so far in the game right now, we're just doing the Wasting time parts after uh, beating Kaneshiro's ass yesterday, or I guess last stream. And yeah, we're just wasting time. Made a couple of social links, trying to raise what we got now. Looks like we're going to hang out with Yusuke. Let's see what he says. The occurrence of that public execution or exhibition was quite frustrating. It seems I have yet have not yet grasped what the heart is truly about. However, I have given it a great deal of thought since then. I have something I would like to try drawing. Do you think you would be able to assist me? Mm, I'm gonna say yeah. Yep. I owe you one. After all, this would be quite difficult to do alone. Well then, come to the park. I will await you there. Oh yeah. How romantic. <laughs> Two dudes on a boat. Thank you for ex your assistance today. After all, it would be impossible to sketch while rowing. 
Oh, let me pull up his dialogue. Wait, I did not realize that Makoto is actually the priestess Arcana. I would think she was the Empress, but she is not the Empress. Because there's somebody else that will come to be the Empress. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Why are we in a boat? <laughs> Why are we? Why are we in the boat? Answer me this. What other reason could there be but to search for my next motif? I will be counting on your cooperation today, but which I of course uh, mean your ore work. What? Look at all the ducks. They're so cute. Don't get too so excited. You'll fall off, you know. Perfect. This is it. My previous painting uh, captured only one aspect of the heart, desire. As such, I was unable to arrive at a truly authentic representation. That is why we have come here today. I shall paint a second aspect, the burning passion between man and women. <laughs> uh, fittingly, our theme today will be the wonders of love. <laughs> you too will have an important role here. While I draw, ensure the boat remains as steady as possible amid these devilish ripples. <laughs> ah, this angle. Incredible. That bashful side profile. Those moist eyes. <laughs> Their overflowing passion is wholly evident. <laughs> Sayusuke, please. They are akin to Adam and Eve, yet in time, all lovers must know the pain of separation. Separation is a natural end to any such re relationship but even beyond that love endures precisely this is the truth of the human heart <laughs> it will make the most wonderful painting it shall be adored by all who gaze upon it it may even be given top prize in the next exhibition wait now is not the time to be thinking of such trivial matters Boy. can you please remain still what <laughs> Return to your prior angle. I must capture your profile. <laughs> what the heck, Yusuke? <laughs> oh, what the hell are you talking about? Rejoice, for I shall preserve your beautiful love so that all coming generations may bask in its glory. Once I complete this painting, you will become new legends in the art world. A modern Adam and Eve. Legends? Art? This dude's off his rocker. Come on, let's report him. Hold on a sec. Are you drawing us? What? You're using us as models? A man and woman intimately swaying in a dinghy of dreams. The blush of their cheeks. The bashful looks. Yes. This is the love I was so emphatically searching for. Love? Uh, I guess you can call it that. But it's kind of weird. Oh, they're siblings, aren't they? It's familial love. This here's my sister. Ugh, I told you I didn't want to come here with you. The only ones who do this crap are stupid couples. Uh, but I've always dreamed of coming to Tokyo and riding a boat here. Though it was supposed to be with my boyfriend, not my brother. Oh no. Familial? So that overflowing passion was just a figment of my imagination? It seems my bias has caused me to overlook the truth of the matter. The... Love comes in all forms. Love is a broad, multifaceted beast, and this only serves to prove how narrow my perspective can be. How romantic love and familial love. Uh, the two may be nigh indiscernible depending on one's point of view. Perhaps uh, the truth of the heart lies in the eye of the beholder. James, I feel as though I've learned something new today. Nice. Just awkward as hell. <laughs> uh, if negotiation with that lone shadow fails, you can try again. Hard talk. <laughs> awkward Yusuke talks. Wait, so only couples write these things, right? That means these two... Oh, what? Shh. There are people from all walks of life here in the city. Ooh, tell me more. <laughs> She's all about that, BL. What are you talking about? Oh uh, well, come. It is about time we return home. Please row us back to shore, James. <laughs> Farewell.
James, uh, thank you for all your help today. I'm certainly, uh, I've certainly come to realize my lack of experience. It would seem my understanding, or I understand nothing of love after all. Though I've progressed by one step, there's no doubt I will face many difficulties moving forward. When will I finally, or fully understand the heart? Even if I ever do understand it, will I truly be able to draw it? Don't be discouraged. You're right. I have no intention whatsoever of giving up. I'll do everything in my power to get past this. Anyhow, today was a significant use of time. Impressive oarsmanship from your end as well. I hope I can count on your help next time as well. For now. Farewell. Ta ta. Okay. They're gonna call the teacher. Oh yeah, you've got some sooty armor. How about you wash that over the laundromat? I think the second-hand clothing store in Kichijoji will take them too, but we better do something about uh, with them. And I'm trying to get my teacher to watch it or wash it. Uh, I'm not available. I'm not gonna hang out with Akechi. Kawakami. Hello. Schedule's full. Oh hell no. If it's just how it worked, I can come over later and get it done quickly. But if there's more that you need from me, please request me another time. Goodbye then. God damn it. <laughs> uh, let's see. What if I can create the new social link? Oh, these two. Then there's Hifumi. Who's more useful? Let's look. Uh, fortune, what do they give us? Um. Lucky reading temporarily increases the growth rate of a selected social stats, which could be good actually. Yeah, maybe I should do that. Yeah, it sounds really good actually. Look at the devil. Uh, Rumor filled scoop decreases security level. You find a safe room. It's all about security level stuff, which I don't care about. Yeah, so Devil's not that important to me. Uh, so maybe Fortune Teller. Uh, Star. Sifumi, right? Mm, yep. Allows you to swap current party with backup members during Joker's turn. That might be useful in the future. Chance for followed by backup member if Joker downs an enemy. Ooh. Um, I think I'll do fortune first, and then I'll get star after. So let's do fortune. Hey, it's that fortune teller everyone talks about. Are right, you gonna get your fortune read? Yes, I am. Oh, hello. Please take a seat. Hello there, is this your first time here? Yes. It's not often that I get young men stopping by my stand. Anyway, my name is Chihaya Mifune. I will be reading your fortune today. You can begin by telling me your name. I am a James Dream. Ah, James Dream son. I see. Your name is quite lucky. That aside, what type of consultation can I interest you in today? Give me the full package. Oh yeah. Very well, I suppose the life of a high schooler is difficult after all. Now then, let's start with initial reading to test the waters of your fate. Oh, divine power, bring forth this boy's fortune. Your first card is... Hmm, I see. As for the second... Oh, next is... Yes, I've seen everything. A stream of light obscuring the sun, like an arrow tearing or tearing through the sky. I see. There seems to be new wealth in your future. Your financial fortune is looking good today. This wealth of which I speak will come from your house. 
Head home without detour and precisely 5,000 yen will await you there. What? Are you sure? <laughs> I'll do just that. As you should. Uh, well, apparently I have to visit her three times. Dang, this actually takes a while to start. Fate is absolute. But what is this? How strange, dream son. The general flow of your future seems to indicate... Ruined? And an inmate? Locked away in a lonely cell? You seem to be a good person, dream son, but are you perhaps mixed up with the wrong crowd? Beyond that, I'm... or am I... It seems uh, continuing on your current path will lead you to your death! And how can I avoid that? I cannot offer advice to that end. Hmm. If the divination is coming to me this clearly, the truth of it is simply undeniable. Uh-oh. Although, now that I think about it, there may be a way you can attempt to counteract your destiny. A what? All you need is a, my special spiritual object, the Holy Stone. With his power in your control, you can avoid even the most unfortunate of futures, probably. A what? Uh, I typically only recommend this to my more experienced customers, but your situation is too dire to ignore. You see, the stone itself is imbued with an aura of joy that will sap away all the horrible energy surrounding you. All you need to do is keep it wrapped in cloth and be sure to recharge its power in moonlight every three days. As for the cost, uh, it's only 100,000 yen. Not bad for an item that can change your future, yes. I don't have that kind of money. Uh, seems suspicious. Uh, it's legitimate, I promise. So, you really don't want it? Say, like, bitch, I don't got that kind of money. <laughs> what a shame it would be uh, to see the flames of youth snuffed out so soon. Well, come see me again if you change your mind. I really can help you, if you like. So, I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> Just give me a discount or something. Oh, you're home. I've been waiting for you. Oh, we're gonna get that 5k. The chief seems strangely happy. I wonder what's going on. Hey, James. Uh, how's your pocket money situation been looking? On oh, what? <laughs> you're hopeless. Here. Bam. 50 bucks. <laughs> oh, what? Is this 5,000 yen? I want some money from the lotto, so I don't mind sharing my winnings. Uh, how much did you win? <laughs> Don't worry about the details. <laughs> uh, or what? Is that 5,000 yen not enough for you? <laughs> anyway, make sure you close up the shop like always. Hey, so does that mean that fortune teller was right? Uh, that is kind of scary. She even got the amount spot on. Maybe that Chihai lady can seriously read into the future. Wait, this is bad. Didn't she say you're gonna die? Come on, we need to go talk to her again and figure out what to do. And maybe I can have her read my compatibility fortune with... <laughs> yeah. And... Um, never mind. It was like, mm, Chihaya Mifune can actually see into the future. Maybe I should go back and have her read my fortune again. And there's the Holy Stone too. She said it costs 100,000 yen. Which I don't have. Because I've been spending it. All willy nilly. But you know, a couple trips to mementos and washing some laundry should do. Do me good. Huh. Oh, who could that be at this hour? It's Ryuji. It is Ryuji. <laughs> Let's go somewhere tomorrow. We've been busy lately, so I want to be able to at least relax on Sunday. Where would be a good place to go? Uh, I know, or I know, yeah, I know. Want to try going to the fishing pond in Ichigaya? Uh, I'll respond later. Don't get to respond. It's... If he's the only one I can hang out with, then of course I'll just do it. If there's other people I can hang with, I can hang out with them. Oh, somebody else. The red light district. Oh yeah, Makoto did want to hang. I'd rather hang with Makoto, actually, because... Um... 
Or UG is pretty high level comparatively. I have a question regarding that red light district issue. Uh, remember how I was, or how I told you I wanted to go there? Well, how does today sound? I'm unfamiliar with the other, so I was hoping you would be able to guide me around. Can you make time for it? Oh, maybe now. Maybe I should respond later. Oh. Getting some interesting news or something? Not to rain on your parade, but I need you to finish eating before I can open up shop. <laughs> Eat your breakfast, boy. Didn't invitation. <laughs> I love how we just like close up Mona in our bag. <laughs> I guess uh, we should check on it when we're done with our meal. Oh yeah, let's go buy something. Oh, and also that. I feel like I'm gonna wait to go to Mementos when change of heart happens. Hi everyone, it's time to do some shopping. What we got? Bodybuilding set. I probably won't get it. Moist boy of protein. <laughs> uh, calm mindset. Oh yeah. That's actually pretty good because that boosts the um, stats of a persona. So I want to stock up on those for the end game. So I probably won't even need them, but it's just nice to have. Oh, yeah, skip all this. Oh, yeah, I also got a bunch of the free DLC stuff. Oh, that's your stuff in there. Received DLC. <laughs> everything. Got everything. Everything. Let's see, just recently I found out we can equip some of these. Let's actually change the music in game, so that is exactly what I'm going to do. So much clothes. Well, some of them are like accessories. Arm PC. I'm trying my best not to use any of the DLC stuffs, but we'll see. That is so many. So many. Oh, that's a lot of lockpicks. Nice. Look at all this. Oh, 100k. Oh, speaking of 100k. <laughs> How very convenient. The fortune teller didn't tell us about that. <laughs> Alright, uh, where's the one with the music? I can get high. Doesn't this one do the Persona 3 music? I'm assuming this is. Yeah, Inaba, so that's Persona 4 music. I have no idea which one is which. Oh, this one. Dance Boy, right? Oh, she actually told me exactly which one. Oh, not the Christmas one. Shadow Arps. Country's defense team, Samurai. Oh, it's a Starlight. Uh, maybe it's that one? I have no idea. Guess. Just gotta wait and see. Orlando fashion. Let's have everyone just wear the same thing. Starlight? Starlight. Demonic ahead. Or an eye. Like, uh, what's it called? Uh, what's that show called? Host Club? Or an eye's Host Club? I'm really curious about these accessories. There's so many. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Money boost! I have 10 of them, that's crazy. All out tag boost! Man, these are so good. <laughs> Some of demons. Life rise. Last stand. What is all this stuff? Gun amp. Yeah. Black rock. That's kind of cool because I think they gave you 10 just to blah, 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 make you know that they're DLC. Well, that one had nine. Starlight Glove. Why is it only 9? Soul Touch. Uh, sounds like every time you auto attack, it will drain SP. That sounds pretty nice. But... Alright. Uh... 
I believe we're hanging out with Makoto, right? I said that. Pretty sure I said that. Kemi and Goto. But I can't even, uh... I have to hang out with her through the phone. Oh no, she's chilling right there. And that's it. All we can do now is wait until Kanashiro's change of heart becomes clear to us. Um, about our trip to the red light district, uh, do you have time today? Wait, 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 wait. I don't have a priestess. Priestess. All right, better go get one of those first. I almost hung out with her without having the correct persona. Ah. Oh yeah, and of course there are some DLC personas that I'm sort of not gonna use. You know, I do have one. Because <laughs> I did fuse a... Oh yeah, I was like, where is it? It's right here. Inazagi Picaro. Pretty cool. Yeah, he's from Persona 4. It's nice, nice. Uh, again, I do need a priestess. Priestess? No priestess. Isis! I feel like I don't need that moon persona. Because, like, it doesn't... Like, help me get any closer with Mishima. So I think Mishima's link levels up depending on what um, those momentous, momentous quests you do and stuff. Might be wrong, but uh, before talking to him, it doesn't say, like, I have this persona, so it will help me get closer to Mishima. It's like, they didn't care. So let's go ahead and fuse it away. Oof, that's a very nice thingy thingy. Um, yeah, do you want the savior bloodline? Mm, or this strengthens AoE damage. So I don't think I'm actually worried about healing that much in this game. Let's just go DPS, let's go damage. Look at all these moves. Uh, definitely want growth. Definitely want fortified moxie, I think. And definitely want this. I definitely want all these moves, but I can't have them all. Uh, let's get psychic. S Do I want this? Increased accuracy and evasion is nice. Do I really want it? So I'll just get these three. Having that growth one is really nice too. I kind of wish we can get a growth two at some point, but probably not to the later personas. Uh... Yeah, we'll just do all these. Sate. Resist despair. Or despair. I am Isis. You are the one who rests on the throne of this world. My mask is proof of that fact. That resist despair. Ooh, I'm on. Let's go back. Alright, Makoto, we're, go we're going. Red light district time.
hang out. Yeah, I don't think I have baton pass with her yet, so... Or at least the... Lolo version? Or maybe sh they come with the baton pass by default. Now that I think about it. Uh, there's so many people here, I guess. This really is the biggest red light district in Asia, huh? Is it? Uh, apparently this place was a hotbed for criminals and illegal immigrants before they installed su uh, surveillance cameras. Or there were quite a few brothels as well. We were very informed. Well, I heard a great deal about it from my father. This is the first time I've actually been here myself, though. Regardless, it's become far safer now than it used to be. Of course, the surveillance cameras played a substantial role in that, but it was mainly thanks to the police efforts to clean up the area. Even so, there's no way to eradicate crime entirely. It seems the operations nowadays are only better hidden. Anyway, seeing is believing, yes, uh, come on, let's have a look around. At Makoto's request, we walked separately through Shinjuku. Separately? What? Should we stay together? Countless men tried to start conversations with her, of course. Ah, cute high school girl. <laughs> yeah, did we lose him? That guy was so persistent. You guys have no shame. He must have been a scout for a hostess club. He mentioned how his girls get paid a lot to wear cute dresses. All I wanted was to ask if any Shujin students worked there, but he nearly dragged me inside with him. If he hadn't been there to rescue me, I... That was dangerous. For him, maybe. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to knock him out. <laughs> oh yeah, forget that. Makoto knows Aikido, so... She would have been fine. I'm glad no one had to get hurt, though. I guess that's how they do it. Uh, I've learned something new today. Oh, thanks again. It seems you have a knack for helping me out. I hope I can do the same for you today or someday. Nice. Sense of quiet resolve. And my friend Makoto. Yes. Um. Yeah, I think everyone gets baton pass like innately. Because again, I'm playing through uh, Persona 5 original a little bit on the side. And yeah, you have to get to the social link 2 for people to have baton pass, which is pretty interesting. That aside, even though this is a shopping district, there are absolutely no students around here. And definitely no Shujin students. Though I guess they wouldn't come in uniform either way. Well then. Just like, let's get the hell out of here. Hmm? Oh, found somebody? Uh oh. Caught red-handed. Or whatever. That was... I used to be in the same class as her. But why is she here? The after-school salon? Why is it called a salon? What kind of place is that? I'm not sure, but it seems suspicious. I'll have to ask her about it. Oh, and I'd like you to be there too, as my witness. Uh, would that be okay? Well, we sp uh, spent quite a bit of time here. Let's head back to the station. Thank you for today. Hey, um, I wanted to thank you again for attacking along today. That was the first time I've ever had to deal with a barker. Uh, I didn't know how they could be so pers or be that persistent. Today was exhausting, but I also learned a lot. Uh, I guess nothing beats practical experience. I couldn't agree more. Yep, first hands, best hand. A what? <laughs> experience. Honestly, I've realized I can't solve these problems on my own. It took that, or it took what happened today to make that clear. I also plan on looking into that Shujin student we saw uh, there. It'd be great if we or you can help me with that sometime. For now, see you later. Oh. Are you heading out with the politician man? Oh yeah. Oh, but he's also ready, it looks like. Another report. I want to make another report about uh, what I've been doing. Do you have time today? I get that you're really busy. I've been preparing a bunch of stuff too. I think it'd be really helpful to you. What do you think? Want to hear more? 
See, it doesn't say... Well, I don't have the Moon Persona anymore, but... Yeah, it doesn't say that. I will, uh... Or having a Persona makes it easier to bond. I'll probably hang out with this guy, though. I uh, just want to finish him out uh, as soon as possible. So I can free up my Sundays. I don't know what level I'm at. Uh, I have a request for you, but it's not for my speech. I was invited to dinner by Diamond Masushita, or whatever, Masushita. Sushita. Uh, I was told to invite you as well. Please let me know if you're a free to attend. What do you say? Yep. Yeah, I'm more apt to go with him because I can only see him on Sundays. That's only once a week, as opposed to Mishima, which I'm not sure what days Mishima is free to meet, but definitely more than one time a week. So let's just meet with this guy. Mm, thank you. I'll let him know. I'll be at a hotel in Shibuya. I'll send you the map. I think we're at rank 7. Kuramoto's been in and out of the hospital. I hear he's not going to run in the upcoming election. Soko, I see. He plans for his grandson, who's also in our party, to take his place. Unfortunately, this is all beyond me now. Yoshida. Hey, uh, you have to keep eating. You're still growing, you know. Or what? I invited you along because I wanted to ask you something. What do you think about the Phantom Thieves? Or what? You heard of them, right? Uh, they've become quite popular as of late. I'd like to hear your honest opinion. As a young man, are you against, or for or against them? I am... don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> so you follow your own path without being influenced by public opinion, huh? Well, what about you? However they manage to change hearts, I respect their belief in crushing evil and saving the weak. Isn't that similar to what you advocate? I can't deny that, but that's not why I support them. I bet they're a group of young people. Young people who have experienced cruelty and injustice. They bravely face the societal ills that plague our world without thinking of the consequences. Brave yet pitiful, I suppose. So the former Diet member who was disgraced by Scandals is going to side with them, huh? Is that uh, what you asked me? Right. Is that what you asked me here to speak to about me? What? Is that what you asked me here to speak to me about? There we go. <laughs> no, the party has decided which candidates it will back in the various electoral votes. And? One of our main candidates will represent this area according to the party's election strategy. You have no chance of winning. Uh, so you're saying that I should give up my campaign to become a Diet member? I won't beat around the bush, uh, drop out of the election, and become my right-hand man. Uh, uh, it won't be for naught. I'll put in a motion to have you reinstated as a party member. And I will perform an extensive investigation to your expense misappropriation accusations. Uh, Masushita... Uh, you'd finally be able to clear your name. Think about it. I'll see you again soon, Mr. Secretary. Uh, he likely has an ulterior motive. If he felt hopeful, he wouldn't ask me to not run for the diet. I expect he's trying to take advantage of me. That happens a lot in this world. Uh, uh, what would you do at a time like this, Dream Coom? Uh... I decline. <laughs> so you're telling me to take control of my destiny, hmm? You're very inspiring. Thank you for telling me your honest opinion. Don't worry, I won't stop giving speeches. Above all, I wish to continue speaking with you. You have such a fresh outlook on the world. Yeah. No new skills yet, though. It's fine. It's not going to be any for a while, actually. That's a level 8. I get mind control, which would be nice. Which, yeah, nice. I don't have to, like, boost any of my character traits. Let's keep meeting with him. Let's finish up for today. Uh, sorry to make you tag along. Mm, I'll see you again soon.
Sorry I made you tag along today. I'm sure you end up uh, having to face something similar someday. So let me share my thoughts. When people come to you with these negotiations, uh, you need to see what's really on the table. Do you see the offer as a risk or an opportunity? You'd have your own major decisions to make in time. The most crucial thing is that you don't lose sight of who you are. Keep that in mind. Good. It's important to listen to what other people say, but you can't let them overpower your own voice. I let that happen and look where it took or look where it got me. Uh, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm getting a little too worked up about this. Well, uh, until next time. Good night. Okay, a couple more days and start the next arc. I'm gonna read a book. What are we gonna read this time? I uh, don't really need this because this probably opens up Shiki or whatever. I don't remember the name of the place, the red light district, but we've already unlocked that place. Um, I don't know if this is worth anything anymore. There might be more games that we could play, and it'll give us even more guts. Uh, let's go ahead and radiate then, I guess. And it's not a programming bug, it's a secret technique. Secret technique, huh? That sounds like something a Phantom Thieves would use, I think. So, you finished reading Game Secrets. It was a full of uh, secret techniques for a bunch of games. We could beat any video game we want now. Although, I guess it's up to you whether or not you actually want to use any of those cheats. You now know several uh, secrets and cheats for video games. You can use this or uh, these to lower the difficulty of these games, thus making them easier to beat. Wait. Hmm. I feel like it was a waste. Oh well. We'll find out when the time comes to play a different game. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, the way she said that. Uh, it's already July, huh? I hate the rainy season, but when it ends, it's just hot. The humidity is what kills me about Japanese summers. I miss the dry heat of California. Not to mention July and August both have 31 days. Summer's long. Now oh, then, Mr. Dream. Two people are responsible for July and August having 31 days. Do you know who these people are? Julius and Augustus, probably. Yep. Which make obvious sense, because it's July and August. Great, that's right. You may already know this, but the months of July and August are named after the Roman emperors Julius and Augustus. Augustus named a month after himself, just like Julius. However, he felt like he would be losing if his month was shorter than uh, Julius's, so he added a day. It's a mystery why men are so stubborn and prideful over silly things like this. Hey, did you even get that question? Blah, 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 blah. Nice. Oh, wait, July and August are both 31 days, though. So. Well, as far as you're concerned, uh, you're just lucky to get a long vacation. But before that, you have exams. They start next week on the 13th. Don't forget it, okay? Next Wednesday, huh? You better make sure you study. I'm gonna do my best to try to get through the exams before the stream ends. Oh, that's nine days. It's pretty long, actually. We'll see. I shall beat this slump. Please hear me out. I shall surely escape my slump this time. My desperation has given birth to a new idea. These possibilities make my heart dance. I would like to come like you to come with me again if you are able. Hell yeah. Go with him. Thank you. The source of my inspiration is at the church. Let us go there together. Let us, uh, let us make haste. Make haste. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Our prior theme, love, it proved to be quite useful for me indeed. After our enlightening session, I once again attempted to paint. 
However, nothing I put on the canvas was to my satisfaction. Before the gods of art, I am not but a lost sheep. Ah yes, lost sheep. I have come here with you for precisely that reason. Our theme today shall be anguish. I shall paint the anguish Christ felt as he bore the sins of mankind. <laughs> Just looking off to this. Hmm. I have seen various sculptures and paintings on the matter, but merely replicating them will not do. Would any believers be willing to model and help me capture the true essence of anguish? It seems not. Very well. And James, uh, you will have to be my model today. Make me beautiful. You want me to strip? <laughs> yes, that must be it. This is what I need. Only a subject naked as the day they were born can convey the true anguish of birth. <laughs> now then, strip. Take it all. Actually, perhaps not. Being found stark naked in a church would be even bigger news than the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> True. Now then, let us begin. Show me a pose that will put the anguish of Christ on full display. <laughs> ah. I don't know, that's like how I got nailed on the cross, but it just looks so funny. Hmm, I see. So this would be... No, perhaps. It seems uh, this is not working. I would like to capture anguish, yet... You remain calm and uh, composed. Even the slightest wrinkle can change one's ex impression of things. I shall not compromise, even for this sketch. Now, raise your hands higher. More. Give me more anguish. Bring it to its upper limits. Like this. Oh god. <laughs> this position. So this is the passion of the Christ. Forsaken by his disciples, abhorred as a criminal by the public, pierced with nails and hung on the cross. I understand now. This is the true anguish of the passion. It feels as though something is boiling up within me. <laughs> what are you children doing? Ah, <laughs> uh, well. This is an art study. Art? What? That? I'm attempting to paint anguish, so I decided to use the crucifixion of Christ as a point of ref uh, reference. So, you're interested in the anguish of the crucifixion? Hmm. Well, it is true that Jesus' crucifixion on the cross is a symbol of deep suffering. It also bears a much more positive message, one of resurrection, of forgiveness. Resurrection? Forgiveness? I'm not sure I understand. Those ideas are contrary to my conception of anguish. Maybe difficult to grasp what I'm saying right now. Well, consider it, uh, but try to consider that the anguish one may feel today will someday bring forth new hope. Oh, and by the way, I suggest you contain your excitement uh, while here. You may uh, trouble the congregation. Uh, so those shocking depictions were actually meant to represent forgiveness, not pain. Hmm. Uh, hope from anguish. I'm not sure I understand. I must learn more about the hearts of men. James, do you think I will be able to capture the truth someday? Uh, I'm sure you will. <laughs> it doesn't look like it. I'm sure you will. Indeed, if I do not have belief in my own abilities, I will never come to accomplish anything. Hmm. This is exceedingly uh, strange, though, spending time with you has helped me discover new aspects of myself. You are perhaps a mirror of sorts. If there is anything I can do in return, please let me know. I wish to repay your kindness. Alright, we in there. Oh, we need more proficiency for the next rank, though. Allows Yusuke to create any skill card he has copied once before. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sounds good. Let us return home for today. I bid you farewell. <laughs> that pose, though. Farewell! Yeah, wonderful! <laughs> wonderful! <laughs> Goodbye, James. He kind of reminds me of, um... Li Xiaolan from Tekken. So funny. Say like overly dramatic. Apologies for this call. Could I talk to you about something? 
The crucifixion supposedly er, symbolizes resurrection, forgiveness, and hope. But I could not grasp those connections. Once again, I made the same mistake of picking up on only the superficial meaning. The more I think about it, the further I seem to be from understanding the abyss of the hearts. Uh, there's still hope. Ah, so my anguish is what leads me to my hope. It's exactly what I learned earlier today. Thank you, James. Perhaps what I need is a change of perspective. I still have a tough road ahead, uh, but talking to you gave me some relief. I'm truly fortunate to have you by my side. I'll see you later. Okay. We got... Kind of sure got rid of those photos, right? And that's what he said. You think we can trust him? I doubt he'd lie if he really had a change of heart. Looks like we're all clear then. Uh, we can't be sure of that just yet. You mean he might not have a change, have had a change of heart? No, I'm relatively certain he did. That is not the issue. Despite Kaneshiro's change, his organization remains intact. I can only hope that, or hope that they don't abscond with the photos, uh, photographs. You mean like run off with it? I guess that is possible. After all, loss of the leader does not necessarily spell out the demise of the group. That is merely common knowledge. But the opposite sometimes uh, holds true as well. Sometimes group, uh, groups that lack a strong guiding hand will simply crumble. So this all depends on which way it goes. We'll be fine. All we can do now is pray the pieces fall in our favor. Hopefully Kaneshiro's confession motivates the public to crack down on them. Or the, the police <laughs> to crack down on the Mafia. I would love nothing more than to see them defeated once and for all. That probably up to Makoto Sis. That aside, we've done everything we can for the time being. All that remains now is to wait until the result becomes clear. There you go, another box. Yep. Here we can't do anything with him. Might go back to the fortune lady. Fortune girl. Ifumi is not available. Mishima. Oh yeah, Mishima wants to be leveled up. I think Mishima leveling up is good because he allows our benched members to still gain experience. Yep. Uh, I kind of hate how it takes three visits to the fortune teller to unlock her. But it is what it is. Um, we'll just hang out with Mishima because it's... Because he's available. I should also save. I've been through so many days. <laughs> Uh, the Phantom Thieves have finally made their big primetime debut. Info has started pouring into the fan site too. I'm gonna be a busy bee. Uh, so you did the request I asked you. I asked you to do. Thanks. All right, you need to prepare for your, your next move, right? I've been doing the same actually. Preparing for what you ask? I could tell you if you have the time. Yep, we hanging. You really want to know, huh? I think you'll like it. Anyway, let's head over to the diner. It's lame just standing around here. Alright, so how go the activities? Actually, I already know. The fan site has been crazy busy thanks to you guys. There's a real god on the table. It's pointing at us. That's really... Uh... I guess not real, but you know, with a gun, and you shouldn't have it pointing to people. <laughs> this book here is all about the latest security techniques, and this is um, a model gun. It cost me a lot of money. Is it for me? Yo, yo. Well, not exact. Oh, so having the moon persona actually does give more notes. So I guess I could still bring a moon persona in, even if it doesn't necessarily matter i don't know yeah that response should have gave me three notes but it only gave me two uh, i just told you how expensive it was didn't i apparently they had to completely halt production because 
You know what? I'm going to reload since I just saved right before. Right before this. So yeah, I'm cheesing it. It's fine. We're cheating! Yeah, we just pull out Moon Persona. Pull out Cheapy One. Actually, it's not pull out Cheapy One, because we might end up uh, yeah, using it all. We just pull out the same one we had before. It was the slime, right? Atlas. That's loud. I'll be right back. Wait, I don't want to go with this. I feel like it's not really necessary to hang out with the twins. So I probably won't ever do it again. Unless I just really have nothing to do, but I doubt it. I'm always going to have somebody to hang out with or some... Character traits to increase. Moon, please. And that black ooze. Ooze me. Alright, let's do this again. Hang out with him. Skip through a little bit. Uh, is it for me? It, there goes our three. Mm, because people kept mistaken for a real gun. But suggested to me by this military buff from the fandom. I figured I could use a bit of security since I'm the sole admin of the whole fan site. I mean, you guys are getting really popular. There's been a lot more info on the forum lately, too. Some of the stuff up there is pretty scary, so it seemed like I might need a little protection. Uh, that's a good idea. Mm, yeah, I may just be your background support, but I need to be able to protect myself. Besides, I'm the kind of guy who goes the whole nine yards once he decides to do something. Yeah, it's all in or all out. As, uh, but as I was saying, uh, we've had a pretty massive influx of new posts on the forum lately. One of, them, one of them seems particularly worthwhile. It's bigger than anything we've done so far. But if uh, we want to really make the Phantom Thieves famous, we'll need to go after some flashier targets. <laughs> Leave this one to me though. I'll get all the info, info we need, even if I have to put myself in danger to do it. Oh Jesus. He doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> it's fine. So I didn't want to be useful. So yes, increases experience earned by backup members, which is really nice. Uh, once you get to level 7, 7 greatly increases experience um, in battle. And then eventually maxing out gives uh, backup members the same experience as people in our party, which will be nice too. So. Yes. I'll try to max this up pretty quickly as well, but it might take a little while. By the way, um, do I look any different to you? Or what? Uh, people could tell me it seems like I've changed recently. I guess I can't hide my newfound confidence, huh? My true worth will finally... Well, 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 if it isn't Mishima. Oh, these guys. Akiyamaka. They're the volleyball people. Long time no see, zero. You know, uh, we've been sitting just over there the whole time, but we didn't even notice you sitting here. I love how we got the gun on that table. He's just gonna point at him. <laughs> You're exactly the same as you were back in middle school, Mishima. Yeah, once a zero, always a zero. Yeah. You haven't changed your cell number, have you? Uh-huh. No, I haven't. 
then why didn't you uh, come to our hangout? All our ex-classmates were there, you know. Oh, wait. Nobody even remembered you existed. Can't invite a guy you can't remember, right? Damn, what a bitch. All right. <laughs> come on, guys. Let's go. It's really lame that people are like that. I guess, like, they have their own posse. <laughs> it's like, bro. Yeah, it's not like... It's not what it looks like, okay? You know that one guy in every class who ends up being the butt of all the jokes? Uh, that guy was me. Oh, poor guy. But I've changed now. I can help you. I'm not going to be that boring guy no more. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, anyway, it's probably late. There, it's getting late. We should probably head home. See you later. Oh, a dream? Just so you know, I'm going to work even harder. Not just in hanging or managing the fan site, but also uh, help with the Phantom Thieves' household names. Er, uh, I'm going to do everything in my power, so you can just kick back and relax. Alright, sounds good. Hey, stream. I'm really lucky to have a friend like you. You just go ahead and focus on changing those bad guys' hearts. Okay, I better go. Uh, we'll talk again... Uh, soon, okay? Uh, good morning. Uh, it's quite hot today. Uh, by the way, Kanashiro's deadline is this weekend, isn't it? His change of heart draws near. The Phantom Thieves will be even more renowned than before when this goes public. It's gonna get busy. This is true. With the added attention, we may receive more requests on that message board. I think we should take care of all the cases we have now while we still have the chance. Hmm. I wonder if I should go to Mementos then. I don't know. I don't think I really have time to run through mementos this session. So I'm just going to keep doing these hangouts. Nope. Uh, no Ryuji, so let's just talk to Makoto some more. Uh, I've identified the student from the Red Light District. Uh, she's a third year, Eiko Takao. I'm thinking of speaking with her directly about this. Uh, can you sit on it too? Yep, just get up in there. Thanks, it feels uh, good to hear that from you, James. I will call her to the student council room. It's gonna go down. Uh, Eiko Takao-san, uh, you've been spending time in the Red Light District lately, haven't you? Both myself and James Kun here saw you there. Based on where you were heading, uh, we assume you're working at a store called the After School Salon? How is it working there? What do you mean? It's just a normal cafe. They make me wear a costume and stuff. But that's it. Oh, and I don't have to do anything weird, if you know what I mean. It's all totally legal. Mm, so you're not... So you're sure nothing strange is going on? Yep, yep. Mm, the worst I get is some weird old guys gawking at me. I see. Beyond that, though, why are you working there? How's your financial situation? Uh, fine. I mean, I can just ask my parents for cash whenever I want. Uh, oh, I see. But they totally bug me about uh, what I'm buying if I did that. And that's why I work at the salon. I get some good spending money. Plus the guys come in there like mega pamper me. <laughs> mega pamper. Mega pamper? It's nice having people treat you like you're special, you know? I'm sure a super honor student like you gets that all the time, though. Anyways, uh, are you gonna tell on me? You even brought a witness today. Hold up, doesn't that mean you two were in Shinjuku, uh, Shinjuku together? What's up with that, Miss Prez? You have the wrong idea, bitch. <laughs> eh. Right, there's nothing more than an errand I asked him to accompany me on. At any rate, don't mind him. As for you, I don't plan on telling anyone. Oh, I get it. So we're like protecting each other's secrets. 
Oh crap, and I just realized your boyfriend's that rumored criminal. You're a real badass, Miss Prez. Uh, I told you, it's not how it is. This time. <laughs> I was just worried you were getting wrapped up in some shady business. So I asked them here for support. Um, eh, whatever. By the way, I was wondering. Is that Uchiyamaru kun pencil case? It's a panda. Huh? You know Buchi Maruka? I had like tons of Buchi stuff back when I was a kid. What a blast from the past. Wait, why is it so beat up? Well, it was given to me when I was still in middle or elementary school. I'd like to buy a new one, but they've stopped selling Buchi Maruka merchandise. Um, MG, this is too hilarious. The student council president has an adorable pencil case. My image of you has done like a complete 360 today. <laughs> uh, 360. Um, isn't that a full circle? Mm, I don't know. I'm just real surprised. <laughs> this goes dumb. You don't really look like the kind of person who'd be into that stuff. I mean, I always thought you were kind of like a robot, but I guess I just had to get to know you better. Hey, uh, why don't we trade phone numbers? I really want to talk to you more about Bushi Marokun and your boyfriend. Oh, um, okay. Oh, wait, he's not my boyfriend. And saved. Oh crap, it's this late already? I've got to get to work. I'll send you tons of pics of my Bushi Marokun collection later. Uh, bye bye. This girl. <laughs> She's so lame. She was all over the place. Honestly though, I'm in shock. She thought I was a robot. You can change. <laughs> beep boop beep. You can change. Funny enough, my younger sister actually called me. Or actually, she told me that I wasn't a robot. Back when we were like in high school. Because <laughs> that was... Well, the way you see me now, actually. <laughs> no, I was more like... I don't know. Not quite sure uh, why she would say that particularly, but I guess just because I didn't want to do much. I don't know. I don't know. Where I kind of didn't really exhibit emotions, I guess. I don't know. I was always somewhat stone faced or whatever. Uh, yes, that's why you're helping me. And you know, I believe that Takao san said about me is how others think of me as well. I thought I had changed after the incident with Kaneshiro, but perhaps it wasn't enough. That aside, it was almost inspiring to meet someone so distinct from myself. I'm going to try to look at things a little differently from now on. And well, I think that will help me break out of my shell. Hope you're ready. I'm going to show you how useful an honor student can really be. Oh yeah. Show me your moves. What you got? Black belt talk. If negotiation with a martial arts using shadow fails, you can try again. So that probably means like if they can do physical attacks. Yes. Sort of like chariot and some other arcana types. I'll be interested to speak with Takao san uh, some more now that I have her contact information. Perhaps I can correct her misconception about you. And as always, I'll let you know if anything important happens. I'll see you later. So I wonder how many more days I can squeeze in the next like half hour. Uh, hello, thanks for sitting in with me today. It really did help. Uh, I got a message from Takao-san earlier. She turned out to be quite a fan of Buchimaru-kun. It was crazy to picture, or to see a picture of her entire collection. She has a bunch of Buchimaru-kun emoticons. Sounds like you two are getting along. <laughs> okay, calm down. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. I didn't expect to bond over something like this, though. I'm pretty shocked, to be honest. Though I'm still a little worried about the that store she works at. I'll try a little harder to get through to her about it. I might come to you for more advice later. Uh, for now, I'll let you go. Talk to you later. Boom, boom, boom. Mm. Am I going to the fortune? Oh, Yufumi's there. Fortune girl? Yep, let's go to fortune girl.
Fortune girl. Oh, your dream son from the other night, uh, right? I remember you. You had a very abnormal destiny, as I recall. Please take a seat. You want to purchase a holy stone, uh huh, uh, for just 100,000 yen? You can change your fate. For that much, it better not only change your fate, but also give you incredible luck. If you do end up buying one, uh, we should go home and test it out. Well, what do you want to do? I think we have to buy one, right? To set in motion. Thank you very much. Here you go. My money. Well, it's not like I grinded for anything. It's a smart thing to do, considering this is the only way to avoid misfortune. It's already charged with the happiness aura, so you'll feel the effects right away. Don't forget to recharge it with moonlight every three days. Stop by again and let me know how your fate changed. Goodbye. Oh, you're home. I was uh, just about to close up shop, but I forgot to turn the stove off. I guess you start forgetting things more the older you get. Does that count as good fortune? Last time I went to that fortune teller, the chief won the lottery. I wonder what kind of luck uh, we'll have this time around. It should be awesome, right? I mean, we paid 100,000 yen for this holy... Ow, what the heck? Hey, can't you keep this thing a little cleaner? I can't be comfortable with all this gravel at the bottom of the... Wait, James, I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, do you mind uh, looking over the shop while I... The, the stone shattered? Oh, what's gone into you? We got bamboozled. Oh, this tastes like s s salty. Hey, the holy stone is just salt. Oh. James, uh, what's going on? I'm just a bit salty. <laughs> You're salty? That reminds me, I was about to head out and grab some salt for the shop. I'll be back in a bit. Hmm, I think this is technically rock salt. I've seen the chief grinding some up before. Wait, in that case, maybe the holy stone is supposed to help you get better at cooking. Uh, the fortune tricker. Fortune teller tricked us. What? You're saying she scammed us out of 100,000 yen? Of course. We could have bought loads of fatty tuna with that. <laughs> so that holy stone was really just a phony stone in the end. That fortune teller's name was Jihaya, right? She clearly has some kind of mystical power, but this is just unacceptable. We need to go complain to her. It turns out the holy stone I bought from Jihaya was a fake. I should go talk to her and try to figure out her true intentions before she gets these hands. <laughs> She's getting the hands. Shogi? Now that's a grandpa-ass game. <laughs> Who says that? Nah, it's back in faction. Uh, there's a lot of young Shogi pros out here uh, there right now. I've been following Hifumi Togo. She's incredibly skilled for a high school student, not to mention pretty. She hasn't played much lately, though. I uh, hear uh, heard she practices alone in a church somewhere. She plays shogi in a church? I don't get it. it seems strange. No, no. Did you hear that? Uh, about the pretty girl? <laughs> you would focus on her looks? Anyway. Or you would focus on her looks. Anyway. Doesn't she sound like the girl Yusuke mentioned earlier? I didn't realize she was a famous shogi player. Oh, good morning, Dream Senpai. We're lucky that it's such a nice day out today. I was worried I'd miss morning training with the meet up or the meet coming up, but if you're here, then I should still be safe. <laughs> Alright, what else we got going on? It's raining weather uh, very well may have the same effect on mementos as it has on humans. Which, again, we still haven't really dealt with weather issues. Uh... I don't think I really want to hang out with... Her. But if there's nothing else to do, then I'll just do it. Uh, we'll have to pick up a... Oh, she won't level up, though, so it's kind of a waste. Can I get that Shoji? Shogi? Maybe I should just study. Yeah, I think I should study because Anne's not gonna rank up, so it's kind of a waste going to her. I feel like 
A lot of people right now won't level up. Um, or just teleport to the library. Library. Uh, wait, am I done with this book? Oh. I need to borrow a new book then. Uh, need. I would like more guts, but I can't. Kindness, reading speed. Oh, I should do this. So I think that makes it so I can read books just in one sitting, right? Speed, eh? Sounds interesting. Well, I need to read once. It's raining though, too. Raining usually helps with knowledge. Mm, let's just do the speed reader. Speed the reader. By handling, handling your eyes and brain separately, your efficiency... Whoa, that's a pretty scientific approach. At least the illustration makes it easier to understand. So, you finished reading Speed Reader. You started flipping pages much faster towards the middle, so I thought you were skipping parts. I can already see that you're able to read with more efficiency now. Yes. Hell yeah. From now on, you can read at double the speed, allowing you to cover twice the material. Let's go home. Perfect. Alright. I'm so sick of how few customers I get during the rainy season. Uh... It's Becky! Uh, just kidding, I told you uh, this already, but I've been deceiving you. Sorry again. So stop sending, spending your money on me. Got it? Uh, I need her to do my laundry. So we're just gonna call her. <laughs> we are running dangerously low on money, though. What? Are you serious? Fine, I'll be right there. I'll have to keep teaching you until you understand. A what? <laughs> Teach us what? What you gonna do to us? Uh, allows you to request... Hmm. Wait, I should be able to... I should be able to have her do laundry for me. I think I have to go to the actual laundry mat. That's where I request her from. Are you serious? I told you the story about my sis, uh, sick little sister was a lie. You know you're being used for money and you still request me? It's fun. <laughs> uh, who's the master here? <laughs> it's fun. Oh, are you an extreme masochist or something? You really are one strange kid. I'm a mediocre teacher and a mediocre maid, and yet you listen to everything I have to say. You're the complete opposite of me. I don't even properly attend to my students' needs. <laughs> uh, the money is actually an apology. There was a student named Takase at the school I taught at before Shujin. Takase-kun was considered a problem child since he had the lowest grades and skipped school a lot. So I was put in charge of guiding him, or rather, pushing him to transfer to another school. But when I got to know him, I realized that he wasn't a problem child at all. And in fact, he was working several part-time jobs just so he could cover his living expenses. His relatives took him in when his parents died, so he had to make money to support himself. Uh, he couldn't attend school every day, but he was motivated to study. That's why I decided to tutor him. After I started working with him, his grades started to improve, slowly but surely. Uh, but I was told that it was wrong to only help certain students and not others. Then a strange rumor about him being a juvenile delinquent began to circulate. And on top of that, I got called into the principal's office. He threatened me, saying that I'd be dismissed if I continued to tutor Taka uh, Takase-kun. How terrible. 
Yeah. But you could say the same about me. Oh, what? I got scared. I lose my job and a rumor spreading about me. So I, I canceled our upcoming tutoring sessions. Takasakun was on his way to one of his part-time jobs when I told him. Out of all days, it was New Year's Eve, and he had been pouring all or pouring rain all day, and he died in a car crash. He he sounded so depressed when I told him that I couldn't tutor him anymore, but then he said that it was no big deal because he had to work anyway, so I wouldn't feel bad. If only I kept my promise to him. It's not your fault. Fault. Takasuke was exhausted from the tutoring sessions and working all his part-time jobs. His guardians blamed me for the accident, saying it was all my fault that he was so tired. They said that they were going to sue me and take the issue to the media and board of education. I wouldn't have been accused of a crime, but if word had gotten out, the school would have been done for. I wanted to continue teaching, no matter what. So I ended up paying them the apology money so they wouldn't sue me or say anything. Guardians, huh? You okay with that? No, it was my indecisiveness that backed him into a corner and I blame myself every day. I know paying them isn't going to bring the, him back, but it's the only way I can atone for my sins. It seems like his guardians are satisfied with our arrangement, so... Mm, see? Nothing good ever comes from getting involved with me. I have to keep my distance to avoid hurting others, so I don't meddle in students' lives. I've been coming here because of a random twist of fate, but we should say goodbye as well. It's too late now. Don't leave me. Dream girl. You're really not the type to back down, are you? <laughs> I guess uh, we're in this together. Now that I told you the whole story, right? Hmm. Yeah. I'll see what I can do about uh, the other teachers so you get free periods with them too. I look forward to continuing our relationship. Nice. Get more free time. I'm gonna gain free time in other teachers' classes with Kawakami's help. It's pretty funny. Alrighty, time to clean. I'm gonna put more energy into it than usual today. <laughs> I guess it's hard. It does put a strain on people's voices to, you know, be super cutesy or whatever. I don't know. Oh my, this room is so dusty, even though I wipe the place squeaky clean every visit. Well, I guess it's all for you, master. I work hard to earn my keep. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, wow, it's so dusty. If my cough is already this bad, maybe it would, it would be better off turning this place down than trying to clean it. <laughs> Jeez. Well, the chef, I mean, chicness of this room is truly its charm, so let's keep it as it is. Alright, I have to go. I'll be eagerly awaiting your next request, Master. Oh, is this Master? Thank you for using our service today. Ah, this is so soul draining. I'm just gonna talk normally. No point making sales calls this late anyways. By the way, I've always wanted to ask, uh, but do you live in that cafe right now? There's always this nice curry smell around, around the place. Do you get to eat uh, that place's curry every day? You want some? Oh, then I can serve it to you. Imagine it was cooked by your own maid with lots of love. Okay, that was a joke, but God, I could really go for some homemade curry right now. Blech, blech. <laughs> Sorry, can't seem to shake this cough. Uh, I've been so busy lately. But anyways, uh, be ready and waiting for Master to... I'll be always... Wait, but I'll always be ready and waiting for Master re to request me. Okay, don't stay up too late. Night. Okay. Pushing along. Good morning, it's hot again today. Kaneshiro 
True, it's hard to tell what reality is now. Believe in the magic of Persona. Mm, oh yeah, today is Tanabata, the Star Festival. Not like that means I'll uh, put up bamboo decorations and write my wish on a piece of paper, though. I'm not feeling it this year. Oh, uh, but there's a traditional food associated with Tana Tanabata. Uh, just like chocolate for Valentine's Day. Alright, Takamaki-san, tell me, what is the traditional Tanabata food? I'll give you a hint, it's based on a certain motif in Tanabata's myth. <laughs> She's like, oh what? Huh? Uh, oh, uh, that, what? Uh, hey, Lady Ana is obviously panicking. Be a good guy to help her out. Traditional food? James, help me out. So, Tanabata's about gods crossing a starry sky to reunite once a every year. It might have something to do with the Milky Way. <laughs> Spaceships. Oh yeah, they got across the Milky Way to get to each other. So if the traditional food is something inspired by the Milky Way... Uh... So many noodles. Yeah, I can see that. The Milky Way is like a long white bundle of them, right? Yes. Traditional food of Tanabata has got to be... So many noodles. Hey. Traditional food for Tanabata is so many noodles. Originally in China, they ate a baked good that we call Sakube in uh, Japanese to appease demons. Over time, that pronunciation went from Sakube to Sakumen to Somen, a totally different food. Going with the theme of calming demons, Somen on Tanabata is sometimes called Demon Guts. Ugh. <laughs> Can restore your strength with some demon guts. I mean, seasonal food and get ready for your exams. Yay. No problem, man. Hell yeah. Right, who are we hanging out with today? Ooh. With Miss... Um... Kasumi. Hello, do you have any free time today? I managed to get permission to practice in the school gym. I was thinking we could do some training inside. Does that sound okay? Yes, please. So we're going to spend some time with... Kasumi. Mm-hmm. What? Kasumi isn't responding. Uh, sorry, my phone has been acting up. It just really shut off. It looks like it's okay now. Uh, see you. Oh, but do you want to get some food in the cafeteria first? I'll go ahead and grab us some seats first. I'll be waiting for you in the cafeteria, senpai. She's cute. Senpai. I'm sorry I called you here so suddenly. Since our talk, I've been trying to think of things uh, besides gymnastics that I'm really interested in. And I figured something out. It's this. Making bentos? Oh. Hi. Yeah, I can cook. You really need to regulate your diet in gymnastics, so I've been making my own food a lot. And so, since I also wanted to thank you, I made you bento. <laughs> this is actually my first time cooking for someone else besides my family. Aw, so cute. But I figured this would definitely help me get my confidence back. I made this specifically with your body type in mind. Oh, my body. And knowing how much you exercise, do you want it? I'm touched. <laughs> and then I'm glad I put all this effort in. The chicken and eggs are to help you with fatigue. There are some beans in there too, and it's on brown rice. Weight control is important for gymnasts, but we also need to make sure we've got energy and stamina too. So high protein, low fat is usually what we go for. Uh, we also need iron to maintain stamina and vitamin B for energy. Wait, I'm getting all focused on the gymnastics part again. Uh, well anyway. Let's eat it up. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Is that all for you? 
That's a lot. <laughs> God damn. I didn't even realize. Of course, I'll need every last grain of rice. Why do you look so skeptical, Dream Senpai? I guess it might look like a, not a lot, but this is actually a little less than my usual. God damn. Then again, she's like super active, so she definitely need to eat. Uh, me recently, I have not been super active, as we know, because my ankle injury. I do workouts here and there, but it's not like super high intensity. I just... I think I do half of the full workout. I should probably do more, but I'm still taking it easy. <laughs> I don't want to overdo it. Um, don't worry, I've done the math on the calories. I'll burn all this off at practice. Come on, Senpai, uh, you'll be done before you know it. This is... Wishy. This is a familiar flavor, but it doesn't match the food. Or what? It doesn't match the food. I keep trying different parts, but it all tastes like the same thing. Something... Very familiar. Dream Senpai, you okay? Your eyes are glazing over. <laughs> it's not good, is it? It's definitely unique. You think so? I don't think it's that weird for an athlete. A heavy seasoning would probably be bad for you, so I went easy on it. Hmm, was it too light? Excuse me. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that's the flavor I was going for. I was trying to decide how to season these. And I figured everyone likes curry, right? So I decided to go for maximum curry flavoring. <laughs> Jeez. Um, sorry, uh, were you not a fan of that flavor? Or wait, maybe you prefer the super spicy ones? Uh, not exactly. I just have it every day. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, I did this all wrong. I I'll go get some of the condiments to change the flavor. Once I fix it, I'm sure you enjoy it more. Should I get mayonnaise? Uh, soy sauce? Maybe miso? Do you think Dr. Maruki will have some salt? Oh yeah, he did the salt bay thing. That's funny. Uh, calm down. Oh, you're right. I should just buy something new. Uh, you can eat right now. Come on. Let's just eat this. Let's just eat. Um, but... Well, thank you. Uh, now we should really eat. Whew, that was delicious. Uh, thank you for completely finishing your meal. The meal's good, it was just something, you know, I guess... Our character eats every day. I'm sorry it didn't turn out perfectly. I came up with the idea of making bento, but I couldn't decide on the flavor. Either way, I'm really sorry. I'm so embarrassed. I thought it was so great when I presented it to you, and now... Um... You can try again sometime. You're very kind, Dream Senpai. Next time, I'll ask you what you like before I try making... or uh, try anything too crazy. I'll go buy that super spicy Megiddo sauce. Oh Jesus, for next time, the almighty spicy sauce. <laughs> it seems like you're always helping me find my way forward, Senpai. If I didn't have you, I'd uh, let my failures get to me and end up in some big pessimistic spiral again. Maybe this kind of confidence can help me figure out who I really am. Uh, sounds about right. It doesn't matter. Either way, I suppose all I can do is keep moving forward. Jim Senpai, I hope you can keep help hope we can keep helping each other improve. Yay. Her fiery passion. So it's interesting that her thing only has five stars, but I'm assuming it opens up later. Especially because the guy tells me we can fully romance her, but yeah, it does look like it maxes out. Okay, um, now that we've gotten all our nutrients, it's time for the next phase. I don't mean to be too demanding, but I'm going to train you even harder than before. Make sure you keep up. Oh gosh. We went to the gymnasium and trained ourselves. Oh yeah. Get more H2P. Oh, I guess we're out of time. I guess we'll end it for today. Hope we can do this again sometime. Mmm. No more days are left. Two days. Big lead. Oh, Mishima's 
ready again. I've got a big lead. This is on a completely different level uh, from what I've had before. You want to hear about it, right? Uh, can you make some time now? Yep, let's do it. Uh, this one's really huge. I'm sure you'll be surprised. Uh, I like to talk somewhere with a, as few people around as possible. Mark, sound good? I'll be waiting. See, I don't think I'll get to the exams, but maybe I'll get to the change of heart and then we'll be done after that. I have some great info for you. <laughs> Just look around like... Uh, it's about the next target for the Phantom Thieves. This one's massive. Uh, just tell me already. Uh, you sure are fired up? Yo, yo. Well, of course, uh, we've got a huge target on our hands. This is the guy. He's a handsome young actor who's been rapidly gaining popularity lately. He's great at acting, has solid conversational skills. Uh, he's even been in all sorts of commercials. If you manage to change his heart, everyone will have to start paying attention to the Phantom Thieves. He's got to be doing some shady stuff. I just know it. And no, I'm not saying that out of jeal- and no, I'm not saying that out of jealousy. I heard a rumor that a famous idol fell into his clutches. He needs to act on behalf of her fans. Rumors are wrong all the time. True. So unless you see it with your own two eyes, then yeah. No, this has got to be uh, what the evil underbelly of the entertainment industry really looks like. Anyway, isn't it your job to listen to the public's wishes? You have to change his heart. I mean, this would be the best public uh, yeah, publicity possible for you guys. Well, uh, pretty good tactic, huh? Aren't I an, an amazing producer? Just you wait. I'm going to put the Phantom Thieves on the map. You practic you'll practically be swimming in requests. It's like, do we really want to have that much stuff to do though. Mishima's motivation seems to be growing stronger. Alright. One more rank and we get extra experience. But it looks like there's a half rank. That's right. Uh, I'm the producer for the famous Phantom Thieves. I'm not boring. I'm not a zero. Uh, he reminds me of Yusuke. Or not. Is that Yusuke? Hmm from uh, Son 4. He was just like bored out of his mind, so that's why he liked becoming a Persona user. Uh, hey, take out your phone. Yes. I just sent you that actor's data. Well, why? Don't worry, uh, this request will boost your popularity, guaranteed. After all, I'm the only reason you guys have gotten this far, right? Uh, absolutely. Nice job. Would be nothing without you, Mishima. <laughs> yeah, it's all because of me. <laughs> I can already tell that's, like, bad for him. The Phantom Thieves' success is thanks to me, and the Phantom Thieves are changing the world. That means I'm the one who's responsible for those changes. Jesus, whack. That means I'm not a zero. <laughs> yeah, it's not looking good for this guy. Make sure you check the info I sent you. I'll let you know once I've found some more details. Bye. Oh yeah. You can read something real quick. Thanks to that book on speed reading, I should be able to get through this quickly. Uh, maybe I should just start reading this book. It's knowledge, it's probably more knowledge. Yeah, it's fine. Do it! Social norms can be broadly divided into 256 types. The heck? This doesn't make any sense to me. Does the author even understand what they're saying? You still got time to read. Let's go a little further. In summation, it is universal yet also societal eternity that organically. <laughs> I'm so confused. So you finished reading Social Thought. I'm getting information overload. Oh, I'm sure you gained a lot of intelligence from that. Yeah. But still not enough to level up. 
I need to go meditate in the toilet. <laughs> See where we're at. Oh, today's Friday. You gotta make sure we get some bread. Special bread. Do -do -do -do. Uh, let me check the requests. Um, uh, we can hear him near the school gates, so we should do. We should uh, open these up. And uh, Morgana told me about some cat abductions that are happening around. Ask around Young Youngin for information. This is Youngin, our like home. Yeah. So we make sure to do all that. Uh, let's do that now, actually. First, we get some bread. That bread at. Get that bread. Get that bread. Some rookie can level up, just not right now. Uh, I need to go outside. Oh, I also need to go to the washroom real quick. Let's go to the washroom. Let's see where we're at. Definitely closer to improving my knowledge. No idea about charm. Somewhat closer to proficiency. Somewhat closer to guts. Somewhat closer with the kindness. I think we need about six notes for. Uh, I think charm and guts. No, guts. Do you remember the target that we had in Momentos? The one about the mastermind behind the bowling? If the target is a Shujin, or a student of Shujin, then they should be nearby. We should gather some information. Oh, not that way, though. Oh, alleyway. Oh, it's just an alleyway. So, you guys talking about it? You sure about that? I can't imagine you want me to release this video of you stealing. Fine, just stop making me bleed people dry, Sakoda. Hey, you did that all on your own. You really want me to show this to your teachers, huh? Takana... Hmm, what was it? Takanashi? Takanashi? Another word out of you and I'll debut your film to the whole world. The Yoshimori Sakoda tapes will be a huge hit. Come on, you made me do it, damn it. So a bigger jerk was pulling the strings all along. We gotta do something about this. Now that you have your target, you need to make sure everyone's on board with the mission. Summon them to the hideout for a vote. Find a target. Find the name of an unknown target through investigation. Once revealed, discuss the target with your friends at the hideout. Alright, so we gotta do that later. Alright, next stream. Uh, next, let's go back to the back streets. Look for the cat napper. We haven't gathered any info on the cat abductions, have we? Let's try asking people around town. I see some talking over there. Who's stealing the cats over here? That lady looks really happy. Is it because she got a bunch of cats? I suppose. Uh, I personally think it's a bit too much. With that many, it gets so loud I can't sleep at night. A bunch of cats? Hey, she might be talking about that uh, cat napping case. Uh, let's ask her for more information. Hey, can I help you? Uh, I'm concerned too. You're concerned about that household as well? She suddenly brought home a massive number of cats. I wasn't sure if she was alright. It's terribly noisy at night and they shed everywhere. I'm worried that it's not the healthiest environment to raise those cats. Maybe there's a reason for it? Even so, I'm worried for the cats. I even told the landlord about the situation at I... I know the son's home, but looks like nothing's changed. Uh, I know who? Huh? Her name? I'm not sure. I only say hello to her every now and then, so I don't know her that well. Mm. Hmm, doesn't look like we can learn anything else from her. Uh, let's go... Uh, let's get out of here and go over what we know so far. So here's what we learned from that mother and child. This I know lady. Uh, suddenly adopted a lot, of, a lot of cats. There's concern about the noise at night and shedding. The cats uh, might be acting that way because they're stressed. Okay, uh, we might be able to find some other clues. Uh, let's keep investigating around Yongin. 
Anybody else talking? How about these ladies? I can't talk to them. How about this guy? Is the cat not here today either? Maybe that woman really did take him. A woman? Hey, might be blah blah blah. Hmm. Do you want to listen to the radio? How about that cat? Ah yes, uh, there's this woman who nabs all the cats around here and calls them Snowball. A few people I know uh, have been victims. The same thing probably happened to the cat here. Uh, have we gone to the police? Of course I have. They took me away because I didn't have any proof though. But I did get her name, it's Ryoko I know. I made sure to ask while I was there, so there's no mistake. Police just treats cats like objects. Those little guys are family to me. I wish there was someone or something I could do about this mess. You gotta be careful too, since you're toting a cat around. Not only are other cats suffering, but she's also hurting people too. The Aino household was the one that suddenly got a lot of cats, right? That's gotta be our target. We should discuss this with everyone at the hideout. Now that you have your hideout, you need to make sure everyone's on board with the mission. Summon them to vote, or summon them to the hideout for a vote. All right, we got them all. Uh, what are we doing today, though? Uh, we actually don't have anybody to hang out with. She's not there till the evening. Can't hear what's coming until I get my guts up. I think either guts or charm, something like that. Uh, funny enough, maybe today would be the good day to go to Momentos. But I am out of time for tonight, so let me see here. Before I go, let me make sure all my requests have been identified. Yep. So yeah, this is a perfect time to go to Momentos. So let's just go over there. Save and leave that for next time. That's very perfect. Very perfect. So I'm very low on money too, so this would be great. Oh, actually, I want to check one more thing before I do that. Since I do have a moment. Can I make or call teach you to do my laundry? Yours. Oh, you're gonna hire at night? Alright, fine. I won't be doing this yet then. We'll do that at night. Uh... Mm, Alright, so I guess we're good. Appreciate everyone who... for coming and watching. Next time we'll get through some fighting action. For now I'm gonna go to bed.